we're doing this platinum bro challenge thing and um i'm currently uh the highest point scorer out of everyone yes wow. not, to, Represent. not to brag or anything not to brag or anything but um we just got wolfenstein uh, and that's worth like a billion points yeah but one of the guys said like he, he, like you know i was so chuffed i was like yeah i got top place and then one guy just said don't you have kids <laughs> Today, we're joined by Platchums, Nate and Dan, YouTube extraordinaire podcasters. Do you call your 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 Plat Chats podcasts? Well, I'll accept the extraordinaire part of that introduction. I think I think that's fair to say. <laughs> I think it's what accurate. are we, Dan? <laughs> I, what, yeah. what, what even are Funny, we? I, I was describing our, my videos to someone who took a, a vague interest in, in them in, um, the other I'll day. As, did, did you as, call yourself It's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, no, my wife put me on the spot and she was like, oh, Dan does YouTube. <sighs> That's the worst. And I went like so red. That's the worst away. feeling um, ever. But I was, I, I just said, yeah, they're, you know, they're kind of like podcasts. Okay. Because no one watches them. Podcasts. They just listen to them. <laughs> kind of like, kind of like podcasts. People throw them on when they're trophy hunting, right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's the I greatest praise. That's that's what we we were kind of aiming for, yeah. really. That, that was our goal, you know. Did, did, did you have a goal or an aim? I, I think people still don't even know what we look like. I think they just stick the video on and then turn away, which is fair. <laughs> no, they it's have fair. to know what you're. Lo- your faces are in the thumbnails. They click on them to start them. They, they don't even know that's us. <laughs> and in fairness, mo- most of them are really bad Photoshop jobs. They're just. Stu- they're not bad. They're endearing. They're endearing. Yeah, the they're, one they're of endearing. you is a leprechaun is horrifying and very endearing. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was going for. <laughs> you got like okay. a you got like a, a face off thing, or like like cut the face off and stick it I'm on the other take guy. The face off. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, we're, we're delighted to be here. Um, I think longtime fans of of yours also. So yes, yeah, same. I, I remember. It. I remember the first video I watched, which I think was your first video, which was like ethics of trophy hunting. And when I read the title, I got all like elitist and like snobby about it. Like, <laughs> what is this? What are these guy people know? It's gonna talk about like multi stacking. So <laughs> and then I liked it. So, like, well, like the title, you know, I was trying to say, guys, in the first minute, I had like an edit of Gandhi holding a platinum trophy. I thought that made it pretty obvious <laughs> that this isn't actually that serious. Yeah. Don't take it that seriously. Yeah. And I think that's why people like gravitate towards your channel. I mean, it's, it's just like, let's have fun with trophies and like let's make jokes about them and each other and other people and just have fun with it i don't know yeah we we can't use those jokes in real life it's a very very targeted joke (laughs) at a very specific sector of society you go to the stand up and nobody laughs yeah Yeah. i'm at work going oh that platinum trophy was tough (laughs) guys nobody gets it i need a place (laughs) i need a place to you know release the trophy related side of myself yeah, yeah. That's 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 pretty much what the channel is. Because like we we've collected trophies for like uh, I I've been trophy hunting for fourteen years. Yeah, that is that is double the amount of time I've been trophy hunting. I I was an Xbox achievement hunter for a while, and I can see the corpse of an Xbox in the background. There's there, two. But... There, there's two right there. You know, I keep telling him to move them, no. and he leaves they, them there. Have they been embalmed? Or is that why they're just left there? I'm I'm hoping they will multiply and I will have more Xboxes and we will raise them <laughs> together. That'd be terrifying if you wake up to see four Xboxes <laughs> on the shelf. It's like, my God, it worked. <laughs> and you can sell it for 20 euro. I don't think you can tell, but I also have an Xbox One right here. The only reason it doesn't look like one is because it's on top of a VCR, which makes it look slightly smaller than it actually is, which is about the size of a phone book. <laughs> So. I think the correct order would be the VCR on top of the Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> is it bigger than the PS5? Because the PS5 is gigantic. No, oh, I don't shoot. have. A, no, that that thing on the black thing on top is a monitor. That's not that's not an Xbox Series X. No, no I know, I know. <laughs> oh, I, that's, no, I don't have a. No, it's the PS5 is the biggest thing in the world. Uh. I had to build a new house just to fit the PS5 in. Yeah. Like, I was really surprised. Like, when I saw the box, I'm like, this is comical. It, it didn't and fit I in my car when I bought it. I had to, like, get a friend's you truck. You drive a truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ever bought something too big to bring home? Like, you weren't prepared for it not to fit? Do you have any idea how fucking embarrassing that is? Yeah. It, it's 
awful. The last TV oh, yeah, we the bought. Door going, it just, just, just need to twist it and it'll, it'll fit I, in. Yeah, I got this. I literally, my wife was gone. This was like seven or eight years ago. My wife was gone for the weekend or something. So I was like, I'm going to buy a TV. There was like a Super Bowl sale in America. So I was like, this like $700 TV was like 450 bucks. And I was like, at the time, that was amazing. I still have it, actually. It's an absolute workhorse of a TV. And I bought it. I was like, this will fit in the back of my car. No questions <laughs> asked. Not even fucking close. I'm sitting on the side of the road in the Best Buy parking lot with this TV like halfway in my car. And I'm like, how fucked am I right now? <laughs> so I called, I called my coworker and I was like, hey, what are you doing? He's like having dinner with my wife. I was like, can you come to Best Buy? He was like, fucking why? I'm like, I need you to put a TV in your car. See, what I like about that story is you eyeballed it. I never eyeball anything. I sit there and I measure it. And then I go, Howard. oh, it still doesn't fit. So, like, we bought a TV, and I forgot that the windows of the car curve in a little bit, and it was too tall, and so it still didn't fit even though I oh. measured it. You, 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 <laughs> you roll the windows down. I'm oh. telling you, lads, we, wheelbarrows, it's the way to go. Wheelbarrows? Just, just wheel, yeah, you can walk to the store, can't I, I'm you? I'm not going 10 miles with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> the Irish way, you, yeah. you haven't lived unless well, you went shopping with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> you really? You you're, you're, not, you're not actually joking. No, no, I am joking. No, no. Oh, I, 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 know, I, 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 no, I take Sorry. a tricycle with a basket. That's my go-to. Oh, uh, with go little streamers on the handles, of course. Yeah, kind of like the Saw movies, but I'm going around buying oh, food. Oh, fuck off! That's funny. Basket. You make that thumbnail right now. I swear to God. Actually, yes, yes, it's the one franchise we haven't used yet. You should do that. <laughs> I had so the what? I had the opposite problem with the TV, where I I had no problem getting it to the house, but then I had a huge problem carrying it up the stairs when I took it out of the box. I couldn't grip it anywhere, you know? It was, like, too thin, because yeah. I, I, had, I hadn't bought a TV in, like, 10 years, and my TV was, like, you know, nice and grippable. And then this new TV was, like, had no grip anywhere. I had absolutely yeah. no idea how to get it up the stairs. It's going to slide right um, out and break right out. The old TVs, didn't they have finger holes, or is that one of those fake memories I'm giving myself? No, no, they didn't. I think yeah, yeah. yeah, they did. Okay, they good. Did TVs, yeah. Yeah, I thought I was losing the plot there. Grant. <laughs> Great, great intro so far. <laughs> we haven't even talked about trophies. Let's keep talking about... I love this idea of you like, all right, I'm going to go to the store. I'll be right back. <laughs> and you like, you get to the, I don't know, you get to uh, some store and you like, it's, they're like, what, are you going to the gardening store? You got a wheelbarrow? You're going to fill it up with soil? No, I'm going to go get the groceries. Just or just a, sing a, a single can of Coke and then just walk out of the shop. <laughs> 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 and maybe some garlic. Just for well, dinner for later. You've seen the social experiments where people try to walk into places holding a ladder, right? Where it's like you just get yeah, let in. Yeah, yeah. Or like a high vis jacket and a yeah. clipboard. You can Who's get in gonna anywhere. stop you if you go into a grocery <laughs> store with a wheelbarrow? It's basically a shopping cart. Possibly security. That would be my no, first bet. Then you just we go don't like, have security in America. We, just go like Mike. No, we don't have security. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Some. Some like. Some guy's gonna come out, sir. I need you to take your sh you take your wheelbarrow and leave. No, nobody's gonna stop you. Just start loading it up. <laughs> Show I've, me the I've, sign where it's banned. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen wheelbarrows used as like uh, recovery devices for for very drunk people. Um, That's oh, a yeah, good idea. I, That's good. Thing. I've yeah. been wheelbarrowed. I've been wheelbarrowed. Yeah. <laughs> Have a you real. live in a fantasy land. Where the hell are you? No, living? like, <laughs> yeah. do, do, do you remember where Liam lived? It was right on the ocean, and it was something nice <laughs> with the moonlight hitting the ocean. <laughs> like this is living, isn't it? Anyway, trophies. <laughs> Yeah, trophies. <laughs> uh, you know, I have a bunch of milestones uh, for Dan written down. You just hit 300 Platinums. You just got the Wolfenstein 2 Platinum. Those are the big two. I mean, you got Elden Ring, like, pff, whatever. Nobody cares about that one. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh, what what did you think of Wolfenstein? It seems like everybody's getting the Wolfenstein 2 Platinum lately. Yeah, I heard you mention that in your last video, and I was kind of like, mm, maybe that's about me. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's uh it's it's a great game i actually i i was very slow to warm to it because i didn't have a fantastic memory of the new order um i i platinum that but it took me like five years because i was like i don't know i i just thought it was super dumb you know the the double the double machine guns the nazis but i, I don't know i i was doing this challenge things where we're trying to get difficult games for points and I just, you know, this was one of the, the big prizes and it was super cheap. I thought, you know, I've played 
I've I've played tough FPS games before. I'm sure I can give it a go. I watched sure. your video on it oh, about okay. thank you five thank times. You. I have to say, I actually <laughs> side fun. note. I always I, I thought you were saying weenie head weenie head juniors, and I thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. And then I go- googled it, and I, I realized it was, it was weenie hot junior. Uh, he, you know, he's coming on our podcast and telling me I got to enunciate more. Are we gonna stand? For no, this? no, it was. I've just <laughs> never seen. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. It's it was. It was my <laughs> ignorance of SpongeBob. I I never watched SpongeBob, so that's why I didn't, uh, I didn't know. But... I think you know that's in the cultural zeitgeist. You gotta you gotta watch all just, of SpongeBob. I'm gonna send some emails to the uh, Irish Public Television Service to see what the mm. fuck they're doing over there. Not we had SpongeBob in Irish. Did you ever watch it in we, Irish? Yeah, we did. I just, I don't know. I, I, Irish, yeah. I, I, even, I even went to SpongeBob once a year for Halloween. Wow. Um, but Super I, I never, I never really watched it that much. But Why anyway, side note. <laughs> Side note, I thought that was very funny. Weenie Hut Jr. is now um, in my in my zeitgeist, definitely. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, the game is. I would say, like, obviously, the 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 mind even trophy is super super tough. Sure. But I think I've said this to to pretty much anyone who said any, like anything to, uh, about the game to me, saying, "Oh, congratulations, well done." You know, I would not have gotten that platinum unless. Despite all these amazing guides and resources out there yeah. from other people, there because there's just a lot out the, there, just like step by step guide glitches un, you can do. Unsung heroes, man. For yeah. sure. Unsung heroes. I tried to write a trophy guy once with another person from Max Pin Three. After about twenty five minutes, I'm like, fuck that, fuck, fuck this. Like, <laughs> but a really, whoever takes the time to write a really well constructed, well explained trophy guide. They deserve all the praise in the world. Way back, all the praise. Way back in the day when we were making some trophy guides on our channel, one of the uh, trophy guides we made was for a hat in time. And it was oh, five co- and it was five fuck collectibles. Off. And it was like, here's where the five collectibles are. All these videos are unlisted now. Um, and it only had four. <laughs> bring them of, back. Hashtag only, bring them back. It only had four of the five collectibles in the video. And someone, <laughs> someone left you the comment. You knew what you were doing, you sick bastard. <laughs> someone left a comment. You gonna show where the next one is? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if you've played a hat in time. Dude. There, the four, four of them are like only slightly hidden, and one of them is like right fucking smack dab in the room. I didn't need to show them where that one fucking was, but he's not wrong. I only showed four of them. Technically, he's right, <sighs> but he's wrong at the same point. Yeah, like it, if you miss that one, you you deserve to miss it. Yeah, it was one of uh, our more embarrassing moments. So of course we hide all of that stuff. Only twenty people saw that video anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it's a great game. Actually, I've 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 often eyeballed this on the sale, but I've I've never. You should, I've yeah, never... it's good. Yeah, if yeah, if you played old like, like platformers from like N sixty four PS one days, like it it holds up to those. Specifically, it's like Mario Sunshine movement freedom, where you have like all the different jumps and dives and jump kick dive jump dive kick jump that kind of stuff, where you like you always feel like you have momentum to move forward. Like, kind of how we felt about It Takes Two, where it's like double jump dive, jump dive. Like, you have all that stuff where it's like movement feels good. It's like that. God, I love that game. Fucking love game. games where movement's it's good. good. I'm, I'm the only person who hasn't played that Platinum that I game. Keep, um, I keep telling you, man, anytime, just hit me up and we'll yeah. play it. I was going to say, is it because yeah. Nate played it without you? Yeah, that's it. Exactly. It was a good was... game to play, you know, with my, with my girlfriend. It was kind of just... Oh, you know, don't, don't throw that out I'm there. happy. <laughs> But Dan, but Dan, you're my true love, so I will be with you at some point. I, I have to play it. Like I you know, I've been I've been and it's the same with the way out. I know I know that you guys weren't like as hot on the way out, so that just makes me all the more excited for for uh the way for out it is takes still two. worth it's it's still worth playing, but it feels almost like a proof of concept for it takes two if you were to go back. I would agree with that sentiment, yeah. Yeah. Like it's still a good in its own right. And I think anything that's like it's so unique in the sense that it's constructed just with co-op in mind. So that alone inherently makes it enjoyable and fun because you're playing it with someone else. But it it takes two is just objectively a very, very good game. And I love how every chapter is just new mechanics. Everyone gets like a cool, unique yep. weapon. You're like, oh shit, I got the sh- the kind of boring weapon, but in the next chapter you'll get the cool thing. So I I, I just love that game. Yeah, it's got all these, like, you know, if you've been gaming forever, like, it's got all these cool gaming references in there where it's like, oh, this is just like this game from the 90s, or this is just like this one. 
and uh, yeah and it's also some new new things on top of that as yeah. well so there's all these homages to like games past but it stands on its own two feet i i don't know joseph Farris is an insane genius <laughs> he's a crazy person <laughs> he's I don't certainly know. insane what, what must it be he like to work crazy. for him because he he must be a crazy oh. boss he shit on the say... baftas while getting a bafta <laughs> twice I would say what it's terrifying, fuck? terrifying, and slightly arising because you know the product's going to be good at the end of it. I, you yeah. know, I can um, just imagine presenting something to him, and he must either like love it and go like crazy and like go around the room and be like, "This is amazing," and cutting the walls or, and like eating the plants, <laughs> or the total opposite and being like, "This is garbage. You're ruining." There's no styling. It's just just yeah. get the fuck on. Yeah. Leave. That's not Fairy Farris. I bet he is a catchphrase. <laughs> oh my god, does he though? <laughs> That's not very <laughs> Farris. Do you think he's like, he He does like super young people stuff? Where he's like, That's not very lit, fam. And you're like, Stop talking like that. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd, say he, I'd say he can climb up a wall. Like, you know, he can run. I'd say he runs a lot in the morning. You know, 2 a.m., he gets up after his 15 minute sleep and he yeah. runs up mountains like a goat. And you know he's got the headband, and he's just crafting games in his mind. That's how I like to think of him. He's he's one of those guys who gets up at like four a.m. has the nutrient shake, and then goes does a marathon, and then gets into work, and he's like, oh, "I've already done half my day, losers. What have you done? I'm motivated. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. determined." And I just see his nose bleeding. It's like, no, that's healthy blood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it means your body's working. <laughs> my skin's so exfoliated. My pores are so open that blood sometimes comes out. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I exfoliate it with just sand, just actual sand. <laughs> rub it, just rub it on there. I can't wait to play this game. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm, this is actually what brothers. happens in the game. Really good. Brothers is really good. Yeah, I, I, I love that game. Beautiful man. Yeah. No. Yeah. So all right. Yeah. So anyway, back on point. Enough of Joseph Fires. Yeah. Weird. Well, now Wolfenstein was good. Wolfenstein was was made possible through the amazing effort of others. Uh, like it's ta it takes two. That's that's how I'm gonna circle back. Yeah, I uh, I don't feel good anymore about our trophy lists. Why not? So I'm looking. So I've, I've pulled up all four of them now. Okay. And everybody's last the six games. Editing. Everybody's last six trophy lists that are like in their recent list. At least half of them are platinumed, uh, or all of them are platinumed. Some people. Uh, my last six, like one of them is platinumed. And all of the rest are like a C or an E. You what game was platinum? Though? My game, well, Resident Evil 2 is platinum for me, but everything else, oh, Super that's Monkey... A, that's a great platinum. That's a great platinum. That's a good one. It's yeah. a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Somebody... I definitely didn't buy the rocket launcher. <laughs> well, funny thing about that. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't buy it. I did. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I did. You'll never know. No, like, you know, it's amazing what happens when, you know, you're on the control, you're not really looking at the TV, and you're like, oh, whoops, I bought that. It's just, there needs to be, there needs to be child lock for these, buy, for buying on my account, right? It just accidentally or trophy happens. locks. Trophy locks. <laughs> but. <laughs> for the desperate trophy hunters, break in case of emergency. No, I'd, I'd buy it again, I don't care. I'll stand loud and proud. I, I'd buy that shit all over again. Um, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't buy it for Resident Evil 8 already. What can you buy like in Resident Evil 8? Playthrough. You can un unlock uh, the... Uh, is it called Inferno Difficulty? Super Hard? Oh, okay. Nightmare. You know, whatever it's called. Or Village of Shadows. Yeah, Village of Shadows, yes. Okay. So you can buy that, that to... That was the dumbest a... thing in 3, how in order to unlock the hardest difficulty, you had to do like four playthroughs. Everyone should buy that, just to get just to not do a billion playthroughs. I did! <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. And I, I did too. <laughs> You're welcome, Capcom. We bit the bait. <laughs> it's funny because it's so cheap. Well, they know that. Yeah, it was only like two euro. It was two bucks, something. yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, you'd be an idiot not to buy it, I'd say. Hey. <laughs> so, Dibble, you got all four profiles up. What other Platinums do you want to shame or call out? <laughs> This this Shame. fucking idiot got Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince on the PlayStation Three, a game from like fifteen years ago. What kind of nerd does that? It's a good game. It's a good game. Bad. Don't play it. It's real bad. <laughs> it has like two mechanics in it, and then every problem in the Harry Potter universe is solved by one of the two mechanics. Either you duel someone or you make a potion. 
That's the whole game. It's or you bad. just go, I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> I feel like that's the other solution to everything. And they go, oh, of course. Excuse me, right this way, Mr. Potter. Yeah, right this way. <laughs> that's not how the books work at all. <laughs> what? I remember what I remember from the books. <laughs> so I, I want to I talk on Salt and Sanctuary. Ooh. Yes. So how was that? I really enjoyed that game. Really? And it felt it just yeah, it felt so good on on the Vita. Um it's it's just it was just perfectly constructed for the Vita, you know. Um like I'm not it was like a 7 out of 10. I'm not going to say it's the greatest game of all time. If I had to put an arbitrary number, 7 maybe pushing an 8 if you consider on the Vita and the portability and just how well it works on the Vita. Sure. Okay, an 8. Um so yeah, it was kind of like a cute little ode to Dark Souls. Um Oh, Look at the, the shake oh, of the head. The head Dan. shake. I touched the, a nerve. The disgustful <laughs> head shake. Um, <laughs> you owe to Dark Souls. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I mean, it's the kind of thing you don't want to shit on because it was like a solo dev, right? Was it a solo yeah. dev? Yeah. I think it was. Okay. Yeah. Or like, it was him and a friend in a garage. Oh man. I like a lot that it does, but the art style can fucking fuck off. I, I hate I was looking at it. I didn't like it at all. It wasn't for me. <laughs> No, and I am a man on an island it. here. Oh my god, I loved it. Oh, it really? Yeah. Yeah, I loved I loved Salt Sanctuary. I don't know. I love that grimy, dark vibe. I don't know. It's kind and of like, like limbo. But doesn't it get like bit. a silly vibe? Like it the looks proportions. Like paper cutouts. It looks like weird paper cutouts. The cut proportions people. of the characters yeah. are all like. Well, now we're talking about a, a stylistic <laughs> preference. Whereas, Isn't that know, what we're talking about? <laughs> You have to stare at it the whole time. It matters if you're looking at it. You're not that playing. is, I, that is. I true. actually did it twice. I did it once on the Vita, and then I went back and I did it on the PS4. Um, I think it plays I, well on the Vita. Anyway, it, play, like it plays great. Like I, I love getting getting any Your game on the Vita. Really broken. Yeah. <laughs> um, but <laughs> just but, but without I having a bad time. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. I I loved the. I loved the. I think it, it's probably my favorite. Souls like 2D game, you know, and I think that's a pretty wow. bold claim. That is, you a know, bold but claim. it think, is because you've played one that's better very recently. Which one? Which one? Blasphemous. Oh, yeah. See, you're a huge blasphemous. Show, help though. me bully Peter into playing this fucking game, please. <laughs> oh, that's a that's another one that I've done twice actually because I bought the I got the digital version first, and then I actually bought a physical copy, and that has its own trophy list, which is super cool. Um, although, Ooh. just side note about Blasphemous, it came with like I got like the the special edition, and it came with the uh, with a oh, map. A special edition. It came, moment. <laughs> it, it came it with a map. To your door. The map is uh, is literally a piece of cardboard with a JPEG printed on it in super that low sucks. quality. It's it's the <laughs> suckiest map I've ever seen, and the map is like you know it even has it like a, like a, one of those really bad creases that's actually damaged oh, the paper. No. You know, um, it looks like they just like threw it in at the end. The but anyway, minimum it's, level. It's a great game. Same. Looking really at it great right game. now, it doesn't look great. <laughs> yeah, but the Ugh. the game itself, I don't know, something about Salt and Sanctuary and the way that they, I suppose, so blatantly copied Dark Souls or sure. the Souls games in so many ways. I just know, I think it worked really well and I loved the ca class customization um, in Salt and Sanctuary over mm -hmm. a lot of the other 2D Souls-like games just because it like I felt like playing as a mage felt so different as playing as a like a dex yeah, weapon a or a strength I, weapon. I, I, that's definitely yeah. true, so, for sure. Yeah, so that's why I liked it so much. Uh, Blasphemous is obviously a lot more one dimensional that you just have like a it's it's more retro that you have like a square combo and that's pretty much it, you know, with some some magic. We we have a list of games that Will loves and he constantly is badgering me to play and I just refuse to play it. Like I'll play like every other game I can find you except owns I, them already. I own most of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's just spiteful, man. You're buying it's, it's like teasing. It's like blasphemous, dick. tormented souls. Uh, there's at least a third one. It's... Metal Gear Solid Five. Okay, well I've played Metal Gear Solid Five. Uh, yeah, finish you... it, you baby. <laughs> you played the older Metal Gears. That's no, all I care about. No, it's a huge gap. I have not played any of the old Metal Gears. Okay, well uh, I'm I'm not I'm not going to say anything, but uh, I'm just going to leave <laughs> right now. I'm just gonna... You want to talk about Metal Gear, bro? What do you want to talk about? Well, well. Oh, okay, well, I'll go off on a tangent for about six days if you start me on the Metal Gear, so we'll get off that Kool-Aid and stay on track. 
No, what? What track? There's no track for this. <laughs> we not cited the track. It, it's, years a fa- ago. it's a fast to lose podcast today. We're going all sorts of places. Why? Is We're Me- not aiming for the truck. Why is Metal Gear Solid Three the best video game of all time? So I have a PowerPoint presentation just in case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, he I'll, does. I'll he does. <laughs> it might be then. No, um, well, it's just the gameplay was so diverse and rich, and it still puts an awful lot of modern games to shame with just the amount of ways you can interact with the world. I like, even, even though it's a jungle, like a, it's a room designed like a jungle, you yep. know, like it's very, like, and, but it's so handcrafted and curated that, you know, kind of leans you towards trying different things and, you know, oh, you can maybe go this way. And the story is, you know, great for a Metal Gear game being a prequel. There's, it hasn't got any of that kind of baggage from the other games. And I just adore it. I just love it. it just has an atmosphere completely of its own and sure. that I haven't seen in any other game. And uh, also that theme song is a tune and a half. Snake a banger, and then the interactive yeah. main menu is pretty cool. The amount of times I kept hitting R one is like snake eater. I did my own remix at home. It's that level of polish you don't see in a lot of games. You could change the background color. You could change like you could make it move in different ways. Yeah, yeah. There's so many Easter eggs as well. Exactly. Like so much time and effort into like a mechanic or a feature just like a little easter egg that like maybe one percent of people who play it will see and it, it just award it rewards you for experimentation i think like mjs5 kind of you know it it was a bigger playground and it was kind of similar to mjs3 where it's like here's loads of shit just try something just have fun just there you go but there is something about the fact that MGS3 is just linear and kind of focused, but with that kind of creativity in it. It was a very unique mix. I think that's what it is. Like, I find a lot with open world games, because I've only played five, is like, if I get a ton of options, if I get so many choices of what to do, I tend to do none of them and then not like the game. Like, but like, yeah. yeah, but you know, there's really only two options, which is Bells either kill good. everybody or kill nobody. There's only two options. Yeah. And kill nobody. There's only like three guns that don't kill people. So you don't have any options. But if you if your thing is to kill everybody, you only really need one option, which is what's the best gun to shoot people with? There's no, a you see, I, I, I throw people. poisonous snakes at people in MGS3. <laughs> yeah, that, that's... See, there you go. <laughs> or, you know, but like, I, I it's never boss, been I thrown style. snakes. <laughs> I was just throwing snakes at the boss. The amount of like of mechanics in that game is, is nuts, though. Like, because I remember we, when we were talking about The Last of Us Two and people saying like, "Oh, he can prone in the grass." It's um, so amazing. It's like, oh, what a you know. revolutionary mechanic! <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I've and, you never know, it's, seen that before. I just remember like playing. I I I think I had the, the demo of MGS Three before I got the game, and I played the I played. Yeah. So it's just the the virtuous mission. And, or, yeah, yeah, what and you demo. just play. It's quite a demo. Like it's such a like great open. All the cutscenes with uh, did you get? It was with the official uh, UK PlayStation magazine, wasn't it? I, it must have been. Like, I, yeah, back when, yeah, we, yeah. when we got cool demos, but like yeah. you know, the just like the camouflage system, the the eating system, the uh, the injury system. What is you the, know, the stealth system? Because I can't imagine eating is fun in a game. So every kind of movement you have, it drains your stamina. Now that sounds like that's a, that sounds a bad. ball ache. Yeah, that's no, really no, no, no. Fun. But it's Im- it's implemented really well, where you don't need to like completely fixate on it all the time. Okay. Where like it's 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 just there, and it's very easy to like keep your stamina at max. In fairness, yeah. but you know if you eat something poisonous, snake will throw up, hmm. and if you eventually let it drain, his aiming will get shaky is vision a little blurry you know it's all it does have gameplay ramifications as well but not to the point where it makes it unplayable where snake is there like trying to like get to a drive in a mcdonald's going i'm fucking hungry you know like yeah. it's, it's, i'd play it's that not... game yeah <laughs> snake I, I, spent, <laughs> I spent so much time just with the camouflage because you get so many which is great fun because uh and they work differently like say this one works slightly better because you're in like you're out of the shade here or the ground is a little mm-hmm. bit lighter here and stuff See, and that's you know, it, was, it was like no game yeah. is doing that today yeah mm. no like it's it's mechanically so rich and even the way you approach bosses you know like the end is a very famous 
Boss. I was going to bring up the end. You can yeah. beat him like five different ways. Five, six different ways. You can you can beat the end uh, like a fifth fight. of the way into the game mm -hmm. before the boss fight. So when you get to that boss fight area, he's already dead. So it's just kind of like general enemies that spawn in the three areas. And I remember the first time I beat or fought the end, it took like three hours to beat him. It's essentially this really slow burning sniper battle in a in a in like a huge area three huge areas and you need to like you can spot his parrot that that might give away generally where he is you can see like the light reflecting off his sniper scope you can follow his footprints to maybe tr like you can listen on the directional mic you directional can hear him breathing. Yep. there's so many mechanics to help you or just stick on the thermal goggles and you can see his footprints and then you can just beat the shit out of him or he dies but, from old age or <laughs> if you save the game while you're fighting him and if you come back a week later, load up the save file, he's yeah. died of old age waiting on you. It's outrageous. See, and, and like th yeah. this is how everybody talks about Metal Gear Solid 3. Like, not not a single person has played that game and been like, it's okay. Like, every yeah. person who's played it is like, this game is amazing. And I think the reason I've never gone back is because every single year there's a rumor that Blue Point is remastering it. And every see, year it if, doesn't if happen. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to cut you off, but the thing is, it's like, MGS1, it's dated as shit. I adore it, but it's dated, okay? MGS2, I still think is aged decently, like, decently, I think. Um, but MGS3, especially the subsistence version with the um, with the typical third-person camera. You know the uh, difference. So Man, from my heart. So, <laughs> and the fact that you can instantly change between the fixed camera... And the uh, traditional third-person camera. That is actually a very cool feature that's in no other game that I can think of. Because it has the fixed on a cinematic one. But you can use that to scout ahead. And then go back to like your traditional like third-person camera. That that alone has like prevented that game from aging a lot. So I'd say if you just play MGS3, you, you, like, you'd probably within 10-15 minutes forget that it's a game that is as old as it is. Okay, it's Probably cutting the line, you know. Yeah. You guys, are, you <laughs> yeah. guys are playing Outer Wilds for us. I'm jumping in. I'm playing MGS three for you. We'll figure out a way. I'm I'm making yeah. a special effort to not like not ruin anything in Outer Wilds, just because I've heard you talk so much about it and just the discovery and and how amazing that is. That I really I really want that for myself. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love that game i i don't know i think it's done things that like no other game has really done successfully and I, you can't know anything about it. we can't talk about it <laughs> like, well, well like I, yeah. I i it's it really hit a sweet spot with me immediately like because i was just you know exploring the camp and talking to everyone and doing like all these like little jobs but then the music kicked in and you know that the music just, is like beautiful. The perfect yeah. music yeah, yeah oh, it's it was, the best music yeah. ever yeah it's really, really yeah, no, good. the music is beautiful. I, I only play it for a little bit on the Platinum's account, just to kind of get a feel for it. Um, and I, I will definitely play it. At, I kind of said, no, I'm not playing anymore. This is good. This, this makes, this makes the cut. This is going on my. my <laughs> we know enough. And I don't want to play anything. The yeah. trophies are bugs. So, uh, the trophies are not nice. They're like I've heard yeah. that. Yeah, they're I've like do they're all tough. these things the wrong way, but we left in the game because we thought it was funny. And so, like... yeah, there's 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 multiple places, not even trophy related, where uh, first of all, I, I want to meant before we get off the topic, start of Outer Wilds, which is another great game. My copy of Metagross Solid 3 for the PS2 is sold as a blockbuster sticker on it. So that just tells you how fucking old that game is. And like you said, <laughs> nobody did those mechanics ever again, even though they weren't like a dumb gimmick. They were really easy to net like the, the like you said, the camouflage thing and like making sure he's hydrated and like stamina it up, which wasn't a huge problem. I will say. Uh, because we didn't mention it, I forget the fear is a boss where yeah. if you have old because food goes bad because you kill animals and you eat them. If you keep old food and you lay it out for him, because his way of movement is so fast paced, he needs to eat food. And if he eats the old rotten food, he throws up and you can shoot him. Yeah. What? And what? Vulnerable. <laughs> That's yeah. insane. It's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And and just 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 last in MGS three. Oh, a little bit more. The, just this one is more, all on the just, PowerPoint. Just, as well. just one more MGS three. Yeah, okay. I told you. I told you. I told you not to open this box. I told you. <laughs> we were so, warned. It's the only game. It's the only game I've bought three times. So I the original 
copy that I got Hold on, release I'm looking day. For it. Hold on. <laughs> I got I got subsistence, which is like the the Ford special edition, and I got a steel book of it. And I find the steel book in Switzerland of all places, and it only cost me two euro. Wow. wow. Instant oh, instant it, buy. It was meant to be, nice. it found you. <laughs> it found me. And then I was kissing it there on the on in the store, and then they told me to leave because I'm making a scene, and I, cause I hadn't seen a steelbook version of it before, and it was glorious. That's anyway, awesome. close the box. Let's move on. That's that's the end of Metal Gear Solid Three. We're done. Yeah, yeah. Um, play it, I'm Peter. Gonna... I swear to God, <laughs> I'll be trying to put you back in the box. We'll I haven't put even you gotten back the in the it. box when you play it. Get out of here! Don't come back until you play MGS Three. <laughs> so 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 the thing about Outer Wilds is there's there's a lot of I think they even mentioned it in dev diaries how they had a lot of ways to approach problems which were reasonable but then they also designed it in a way that you could do it by brute forcing it in a way that shouldn't be possible but they still made it slightly possible in case you actually did it and then it was like hey no skin off your bones you still discovered a thing right like I think Peter and I talked about there's a way to get into a building and it's like oh you can't do this unless you're really good at platforming and I was like I did that. Were you not supposed to do that? And you, he was like, what? No, why would you do that? And I was like, it still worked. Like, what's wrong? <laughs> it, it's funny, because, like, there's so much that's being rendered in that game around your character at any one time, no matter where you are in the solar system. And they have, if you leave your scout somewhere, if you leave your, like, camera drone somewhere, it's rendering all the stuff around that, too. And then if you leave your Ooh. ship in a third location, it basically crashes your PlayStation. It can't handle all three of those at the same time. And apparently they wanted to make that a trophy where you basically crash your PlayStation from <laughs> these three separate points. And Sony was like, no, you can't encourage people to, like, break, break the hardware. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> it's good to know their attitude towards the trophy list. Though. <laughs> I, I'm almost scared. Yeah, it's those types of things. I'm only surprised that Sony, you know, put a stop to that because it seems like the trophy, what what gets made as a trophy or what the games get trophies are Wild West. Yeah. yeah just... <laughs> well, they made the big mistake yeah. of asking. It turns out if you never ask Sony, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> there's, 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 isn't there a game that's like literally impossible? The game was developed broke. It's, it's always listed as like the hardest game of all time to finish because it's literally not possible on PSN profiles. What's it called? Yeah, I know. The, the trophy landscape is... It's been diluted severely. We're, we're all over the place now. Now it's like you could have, like, a five millisecond platinum or a 3,000-hour grind fest. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah, called I, a, Attacking Zagata. Nobody has ever finished it, and it's impossible to finish. <laughs> Shall there we start it right. tonight, lads? We'll, yeah, we'll, start it tonight. we'll be the first. We'll, have, we'll get it. We'll have to platinum by the end of the night. How, how many people have started that game with the confidence of being like, I'm going to be the first, and have just, like, fallen on their face? 270. They're <laughs> Euros. Have the number. Euros. <laughs> they made That's a sequel. Actually something... That's something that you're like. I know that you two are are pretty good at. Is is kind of getting plats that other people never that's have gotten. That's all. Uh, that that's the most fun when I'm trophy hunting. Yeah. When we don't know how to get the trophy yet, and no one on the internet knows, and you're comparing notes with people who have like tried things that haven't worked. I, that's a blast. Yo, know, I I got Elden Ring like the day before the re release. I got stuck in the round table hold for thirty minutes. I didn't know how to fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> I was going through all the doors and I was like, like I, I went online and like, oh, there's no guides. Well, I'm alone. <laughs> Elden Ring, Elden Ring tries to not teach you anything. It's got like this little tooltip that's like, by the way, you can fast travel. And if you click Bye. out of that way too quick, you're screwed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> notification, I'm like, I've played games before. Ha, 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 ha. Can, I, can I just say your fucking piss taking video of being like, look what I got. I was like, I love this guy. I want to talk. <laughs> Because if I ever had a game like that from Peter, oh my god, you made a video about taking the ah, oh, so good. Yeah, no, it showed it showed up, and I'm like, my first instinct was like, cool, I'm gonna piss off Dan. <laughs> well, the the op you achieved the absolute opposite because I I watched that and I was like crying laughing watching that. I thought it was yeah, the best video I'd seen. Like, those, those those types of videos, I'm very like, I, I'm always like saying to Dan, is this okay? <laughs> like, I just had this stupid idea and I made it in 15 minutes. Those are my favorite. The, those, like, bits that you're only making for yourselves, really. And, and just, like, throw it out there and see what sticks. Like, I don't know. 
Like, Dibble, you made that one when I did the live stream of um, Unto the End, I think it's called. And just yep. me dying mm-hmm. repeatedly. Like, yep. I find that stuff so dumb and funny. Like, <laughs> that looks I like would a love cool for you game. to get back to live streaming so I could make videos making fun of you. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> live stream Metal Gear Solid 3 thousand subscriber special I, I can Speaking be your sensei I can be your sensei you can do a really bad like after effects like I'm a force ghost or something Yeah. and Aww. I'll be like I'll, I'll, my only tip will be throw the poisonous snakes that's all <laughs> I'll give you just throw the snakes it'll get you out of a pinch it'll get you out of any situation just throw the snakes there's such a good point in that game where there's a room with a bunch of guards and like you can get past them doing any of the things we've said before but the camera angle in that game is such a way where when you go to first person, by the way, there's stuff above you. There's a bee's nest. You shoot down the bee's nest and scare them away. But if you never put to first person, you'd never see the bee's nest because the camera <laughs> angle, the way the camera angle is. Okay, I, so Peter, I got that. Yeah. I've just checked. We only have 863 subscribers. So you have approximately four years to plan for this <laughs> thousand subscriber special. <laughs> that was like us. We had a 962 sub special because we're like, we're not getting to 1,000 any time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, fuck it. This is a milestone. Yeah. I don't know. YouTube subscribers yeah, you're, you're are You're close, weird. though. You're close to... <laughs> inching, inching, little by little. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good to get, like, you know, I think that's... It's a lot more meaningful to get kind of, like, good subscribers than loads of subscribers. For oh, sure. yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. So, you know, if, if we get, like, one person who, but you know, they comment on our videos and stuff, or they join the Discord, like, it's it's such a it's such a great, it, it really makes it worthwhile, you know? Yeah, for sure. No, I, I love that level of engagement. How's the, uh, how's the Discord working out for you? Because there, there is no missing collectible Discord or anything. Is that a... That you know about. Is there a rip-roar in good time? Like, it's, it's. I don't know. Is Nathan frozen or is he he's just laughing at me? me? I don't know. He might he's be having a great me, yeah. time permanently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's on. He's he's gone to the Discord um, just to check. But uh, he, it's yeah, it's great. It, like we have great interaction there. We're probably not as active, like we're not as encouraging conversation as much as we we should be probably. But um, you know, we have like 150 people there, and and people are sharing their plats and. Uh, chatting about things boosting groups stuff like that so it's great you know um like i i, I think a lot of our I, i'd say a lot of our audiences cross over sure, and yeah. then the same same with uh say platinum bros yeah a, a kind of core group as well so um you know there's a lot of kind of crisscross there and, and, and great people and you know i've i've made some some great friends from doing this youtube stuff which is which is you know has made it all the more worthwhile um great people to play with and, and stuff like that so yeah it's um like the discord thing we just did it on a bit of a whim um just because we thought we thought uh it'd be a cool thing to do it'd be nice to chat and um, with the people who kind of comment more often um nathan's nathan's gone he's gone um, well he's now gone. we have number you now we can attack we, you on all do sorts we, of do angles. we wait do we wait? He, and uh, because Peter's gonna lose his formatting, it's gonna be totally. Fucked I've already now. fixed it. I did it live. Did you oh, wow. really? Yeah. You god! It's seamless. <laughs> no one will notice a problem. Yeah, I'm taking he's, this he's, as a bit, and it still looks like shit, doesn't it, Peter? <laughs> he's back in a minute. He says uh, his okay. internet died. You know, um, I, this isn't portraying Irish internet in a good light. But <laughs> listen, is, I know all about garbage fantastic. internet. Have you ha- yeah. have you played Aliens Fireteam Elite at all? No, but uh, but a few of the guys on the Discord were actually saying that we should start it. Um, see, I have I have this weird rule about okay. games, and if I'm like looking for a new game to play, I go basically what I do is I I go through the PlayStation Store sale section okay. and I see what's on sale. Good strategy. If something if something looks good, uh, like via kind of the thumbnail and and stuff, I will Google it. I will Google the reviews. If the reviews score over 70, I will then explore the, the trophy guide. And then that's kind of how I pick games. This is a whole process in a flow chart. I'm like, yeah. I, I'm a wild card. I look at the new section <laughs> of the PSN store and I'm like, like the thumbnail, we're in. And that's yeah. it. That's the extent of the research. <laughs> and that, like I, that bites you so many times. Like, oh, why did I not look this up ahead of time? Trailed! <laughs> Unrailed. Unrailed. Unrailed is bad. Don't play Unrailed. Unrailed. 
Yeah, I've 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 heard your you know, but that was that was one of the the ones that you kind of got first in the world on, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Will yeah. has that on a technicality because my internet is bad and it popped for him <laughs> a millisecond early. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no, that's great. Like I I think it, a lot of it comes from you know a place of of kind of bargain hunting because I'm trying to like get a sure. really you know cheap game as well and and see kind of I I usually sort by like by lowest to, or to highest price yeah, and then kind of go down from that way. But um, my point, sorry, my point bring, talking about uh, Alien Fireteam there is because I, I Googled it and I, I cause I, th- I saw that it looked pretty cool. And then I saw the reviews were like 60 in the sixties, you know, and then I was kind of like, Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll check something else. So that's why I never went into that one. But now I see everyone is talking about it. And of course, you know, an arbitrary, you know, review score on Metacritic sure. isn't the the most important thing. It's just you know when there's so much choice out there, I try to have like a bit of a a bit of a, a system. You know. Yeah, I mean, I I enjoy it a lot. If you if you liked other like third person co op shooters, it it holds up. But what I was gonna bring up about it is like I have the misfortune of playing host in the group that I'm playing it with, and my internet can't hold up. And the lag in that game when the host is not doing very well is so bad. So, like, the aliens will, like, jump and they'll teleport across the screen at you. And it's, one, it's terrifying. And two, it's impossible to shoot them. So, like, it's it, it has bad net code when you are lagging. If, if the internet holds up and everything's good, it's perfect. And I really enjoy it. But my internet can't do it. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think... Probably I'm I'm not getting in the really old house. I think all the wires are super old, sure. so I get I got kind of get lips and stuff. But I I play very very few co-op games to be honest. Like even say like the fact I suppose that say me and Nate haven't played it takes two, even though we have a like a duo channel, you know, which is so <laughs> it's so bizarre that like we haven't played the best game of last year for for example. But it's generally because like kind of time constraints. Like I play a lot, but I play like. I play weird kind hours of, you know, and single play weird hours yeah. exactly yeah so totally. you know, I'm I'm not a very reliable co-op partner to people <laughs> I don't like letting people down with with timings and stuff like that you know yeah will has um, a thing where he'll like sign up for like eight different co-op sessions with different groups and like you, I've seen you coordinate <laughs> things where you're like Tuesday is this game Wednesday is this game Thursday is yeah, this game and I'm I like do how do you that, do yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so I have a PS4, a PS3, a PS5, and a PS Vita, and my ha- my wife has a PS4, and we have, so we have ding 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 so I have, like, dueling accounts, I have dueling platforms, and it's like, so Wednesday night I play Warzone with somebody, and if I'm in between Warzone matches, if there's a loading screen or I die really early, and I, I miss the gulag, if you've played Warzone, you know what I'm talking about, I'll, I'll have on my top monitor, I'll have a game like a Lego Star Wars, and I'll play that while I'm waiting to respawn or something else. And then on Thursdays, my wife plays the PS5. She plays Hades or Immortals or, you know, uh, what's the other game? Uh, Horizon. And then I'll play some old backlog stuff on PS4 or PS3. If you want to call those boosting sessions, Peter, playing with it, playing with my wife, you son of a bitch. No. And then and then Tuesday nights I play with a friend from Ohio. We usually play. We do boosting stuff for for either fighting games for him, fighting games for me, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, I am. Yeah, you know what? I am kind of booked up all the time, aren't I? That's that's very You're cool and organized. Guy. You're popular yeah. and you scream and it's hilarious. So everyone <laughs> likes boosting with you. You know the funny thing is. Uh, we were talking before about, like, being a dick to people. This is, like, the very beginning of the call. This might have been before we even started recording. But I was I was thinking about, like, I'll... My wife has never played a Souls game before, and she's playing Elden Ring. And we... When we... When we I bought it... I bought the two copies, one for PS4, one for PS5, day one. And, like, you guys could co-op. We could not co-op. Apparently, America can't co-op for shit. And we were, like, in the same house on the same network, and I couldn't connect to her. So she's been playing the whole game solo. And it's, like... I am a bad person, no matter who you are. If you're playing a game that I'm good at in front of me, and you make a mistake, my brain is ruthless. <laughs> so I'm watching her. She's fighting Renala. Sorry, she's fighting a boss. I don't want to give too many spoilers away if people still care about that stuff for Elden Ring. And she, like, missed time to dodge, and I was like, in my head, I was like, unacceptable. Unacceptable. <laughs> Divorce. The papers are ready to go. No. She We're did done. beat it. I was, I was really happy for her. She beat it that night. But in my head, I was like, man, I'm a horrible friend. Jesus Christ. Terrible husband. <laughs> but, so it's, it's, it's nice that, like, that, you know, that you can do that together and kind of have that 
you know, uh, common understanding, I suppose, of, of the games. Like, my wife has zero interest in games. Like, uh, an active dislike, I would say, even. Yeah. So it's very kind of chalk and cheese, you know, about games and it's, stuff. It's got to be the well, right maybe Google game. It's European a- slang. Chalk and cheese? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Chalk and cheese. I think that's... I no! Maybe I, I might have made that up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that could be... I have to Google it myself. I think that means things that don't go together. Um, Meaning of but- be like chalk and cheese. Yeah. If yeah. two people are like chalk and cheese, they're completely different from each other. There Good you go. Lord. Yeah. There you go. I didn't make it up. I thought I did when you questioned me. <laughs> I thought I knew slang on Plat Bros podcast. He he quizzed Peter and I on on British slang. We did so pretty well. I'm so bad at that. I'm so bad at that, man. You don't watch enough. We have to we have to they they hold back UK TV from us Americans behind a BritBox subscription. But fortunately, <laughs> my my mom is a huge huge fan of England for no apparent reason considering she isn't <laughs> she has a framed picture of the queen on her fucking wall, dude. That, in that's her bedroom. A that's a little Isn't hardcore. that weird? That's a little that's crazy. Hardcore. <laughs> yeah. Not, you... not too many people have, um, have framed queen pictures in Ireland. Um, I imagine they don't. Yeah. But you know what I mean? So, you know how people who like Japanese culture a lot, they're like obsessed with it in the West, are called weeaboos? You've heard this mm. term before. We call my mom a teaboo. <laughs> 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 that's pretty cool but, yeah i mean i saw I a mean, photo the yeah. other day and it was like the first the first weeb ever and it was like some guy in like the 1800s posing in samurai gear <laughs> 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 yeah no so, that's that's cool it looks like nate is not gonna make it back he he faked an internet outage to stop talking yeah. to us which is pretty hilarious but uh I, oh oh, oh. That's it's what you get for talking shit, That's Peter. That's what we get for talking <laughs> shit. I... Wow, wow, that was amazing timing. Yeah, that was. It really was good. planned. It was part of the bit, right? You know, <laughs> got no yeah. audio. I can't hear you, buddy. <laughs> He's back, but Ta-da. yeah, but at, at a cost. <laughs> so, so Elden Ring is it game of the year? Oh Jesus! What have I walked into? <laughs> I think I I don't think it, it can like it's it's obviously going to get game of the year you know, as, like, the, the biggest game of the year. You know, sure. it's going to get the most game of the year nominations, my, 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 definitely. My but... answer is I'm going to wait till the end of the year. That's cheating. Yeah. That, no, you got to make the call I don't call think now. there's enough. You got to call like, a shot what, now, buddy. <laughs> like, I think this oh. year is a good year for games, but I don't think there's, like, anything that's going to, to surpass it. Yeah, I'd um, be surprised. There's things in the calendar that are supposed to come out, but they won't, and do, we know this. Do you think God of the God of War is coming out this year, or is it going to get delayed? Mm, no, get I'd delayed. say that a slight delay. Yeah, I think, like I think it's going to come out. Push. I think oh. I'm going to say yes, oh. just just because. Yeah, I'm going to say yes, just to be contrary. I think it will come out at the end. <laughs> Alongside of the year GTA been... Six, San, is it? So <laughs> no, they've been so they've been this. very active. God in of War that it will come out. God of War comes okay. out. It's better than the first God. It's better than 2018's God of War. Does it beat Elden Ring? You're a single player I, guy. I still think no, because like I think I think the best version of God of War still couldn't like I don't think it's ever going to reach like a 97 ish like that kind of level because That's probably it's, true. Yeah, like even if it was the perfect God of War game, I still don't think it, it would you know it would appeal to as many people as Elden Ring is. But what if, if you could be a boss beard? Like, beard. Like, Oh, bigger beard. <laughs> bigger beard. 98 on Metacritic. But, but I mean, Elden if Ring, you can, you can have a beard. Poison snakes. Throw snakes at people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if, 99. If That'll Kratos be 99 is throwing on poison snakes in God of War 2 2, then yeah, it's game of the year. No, no. Listen. Or the classic Metal Gear, the porn magazine. Just leave it on the ground and just wait with the Blades of Chaos. Peter doesn't get that joke, but that's a really good joke. No, Blades of, Chaos. Mechanic. Blades of Chaos yeah. is from Kratos in God of War. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, the, the reason I have a Elden PlayStation. Ring is going to win. The, the reason Elden Ring is going to win is because you can't leave a message on the floor in front of a ladder in God of War that says, what a thrill. Because when I saw that message, I fucking lost it. That's what you think. You think God of War is going to come out and not have a message system? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it won't. Atre- Atreus is gonna like put words on the wind, and you're gonna get back. And what can you say, say in God of War other than try violence? 
Yeah. <laughs> That's literally the only message. Or like, try nice rump. Beard. Exactly. Yeah, try rump. <laughs> try rump. Um, no, I think, uh, like, I think there's going to be a lot of, like, you know, God of War will, if it comes out, it will win a lot of Game of the Year awards, definitely. Sure. But, you know, overall, I think Elden Ring has it in the bag. Yeah, I think it's a lock. I mean, some of my favorite games every single year are some weird indie game that I didn't know about until I played it. So... I'm sure there'll be some like that, but I don't see any of them topping Elden Ring for me personally. Stray um, supposedly is going to get a release date soon. What is? Stray, the cat game. Cat oh, game! Oh yeah, I know you're excited cool. about the cat game. cat game. I heard a lot about that. I thought it would come out because I saw an article praising it or people talking about it, it might be game of the year. <laughs> Based on what? And, uh... Based on the one trailer? I'm only relaying the information, man. <laughs> I didn't write the article. Cite your also, sources, I was, I was like... <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, did that just come? Did it already come out? So uh, why why are you so excited about the little stray kitty game? You have no um, heart. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually there's a really cool game I saw the other day. It's called um, Cult of the Lamb. It looks really good. Cult um, of the it, Lamb. What is that about? Yeah, it's like it's like a cutesy looking kind of Jared Leto ha- happy happy tree friends kind of thing. No, that's oh like, Jesus. Where it's cutesy, but it's also very violent. It's um, it's got it's... it's got don't starve look into it. Where it's like it's like two D. It's uh yeah. It's it, I think it's like a roguelite, but it, there's base building in it as well. Um, but I would it, be shocked. I I think it looks pretty cool. It's it's one that's on my radar anyway. I love those kind of games. What about Sonic Frontiers? Huh. I'm not a Sonic guy myself. I never a Sonic guy. Never never Sonic. I... Have no, you... no, I, I, I relate back to, you know, horrible childhood memories of my older cousin that never let me play. Sure. And uh, I was just like, dick. And then I associate Sonic with <laughs> not being able to play. It's, it's uh, maybe a bit mean on Sonic, but... So, so right, you don't gonna, like yeah. Sonic because you wish you could play Sonic? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw I some games at you. I have my reasons, Dan. They're not good, <laughs> but I have them. I'm going to throw some games at you really quick. And I want you to give me... Just based on nothing, besides their names, I need you to tell me if you think it's going to be any good or not. Mm-hmm. Okay. And and therefore, it has a chance of being in the Game of the Year discussion. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay? Gotham Knights. Fair enough. Good. Good Good chance? Gotham Knights, good chance? Skip for me, I think. Oh. Nate? I, I'd say it'll be. It won't quite capture the magic. Is this a yes or no question, by the way? <laughs> Will before it? Before I to go on a big long explanation, you go. Eh, eh. Um, I, I would say skip, just as in, like, I don't think it's going to super appeal to me, but I, you know, I think the guys at Rocksteady are, are pretty awesome. Yeah. So, you know, I think like, it's going to be, be a good very game. good. But I don't think it'll hit the heady heights of Arkham Asylum or Arkham City. Yeah, probably right. not. Okay. Yeah. Hogwarts Legacy. I'm 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 pumped for that. Uh, Are you? I think it'll be good. I feel like that's gonna I flop be so hard. I hope not. I, I feel yeah, like I, everything I, I read about that, like people are like, it's gonna have this, it's gonna have this, and they have very no man's expectations. Sky. It's very no man's the expectation. Sky. Yeah, I, yeah, I, like the expectations are sky high. Like the gameplay trailer made it look okay. Like yeah, you know, there was a 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, it look it, like it could be really great, and it look. I'm just happy for people that you know have wanted you know a. That's true. A Harry Potter game like that for years. So it's like, let, you know, I'm not really invested either way. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely wait for the reviews, but I'm 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 pretty pumped. Hey, I'd good love man. It to be good. Always wait for the reviews. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll probably oh, get I that one either way. Yeah. I haven't pre-ordered a game like aside from Elden Ring in in a long time. I would say, you know, I'm I'm pretty skeptical. Uh, I think before general. Elden Ring. It'll, it was San Andreas was the last game I pre ordered. Wow. <laughs> wow, yeah, okay. It's Don't been a while. Age. The Lord oh, of no, the no, Rings no, Gollum. Last... Nah. No, there... yeah. Shadow of War was such an insult to the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like, they're going to do the same thing with Gollum. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, I don't know, I never I, I never got Gollum. You know, I'm, I'm a huge lord of the rings fan and, and i love the middle earth you know lore silmarillion and all that kind of stuff but Gollum as a character i don't know i'm, I'm yet to be sold on an, an entire game yeah on Gollum. totally agree. so we'll uh, see yeah there's there's one on here i don't know enough about the subject material to know if there could even be a sequel but a, there's a sequel to the plague tale coming out yeah so even Ooh, is there even sequel yeah. bait for that 
Yeah, there, there's a trailer for it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Requiem, literally, I yeah, I literally just finished that game like last week. So, like it? Uh, I'm Love excited it? about it? that. What do you think? I loved it. Loved I loved it. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I I, I, no, like, I would say probably yeah. loved as well. I think I, I really yeah. enjoy this. Wow, I like that no, kind of. I it's like, almost I like, unique. I, yeah, I I thought you he was on, like. I, sorry, Nate. Yeah, I I I was just gonna say I didn't think the child was super annoying, which is a big win. Yeah, that's know? a big I positive. Like, yeah, I was like, wow, a child who isn't you know who doesn't drive me mental. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we forget uh, how no, rare I'm... that was before Last of Us and God of War, and like, it's like they... Super Mario <laughs> World Two, Yoshi's Island, PTSD. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know how that's old, old you chuckle box are. Jesus, I mean, that's playing yeah. co-op with you is just the, yeah. the screaming. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all pretty much the same ballpark age ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're all. I, I yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I think I'm the oldest. 50, I'm going to claim superiority. 55, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm There's actually this 52. fucking Discord I'm in where some for some reason everyone thinks I'm like 44 years old and they keep making like <laughs> they keep making jokes about how old I am. I'm like I'm not that old. <laughs> Um, uh, there's one I'm in where we were talking about Dragon Age Origins and someone was like, oh, that's that really old game my dad likes. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. shot to the heart. I was like, Origins isn't that old. Yeah, that's funny because actually the other day I was, um, I was doing something very important where I was adding trophies to my trophy cabinet on PSN profiles. That is really and, important. Uh, I put the, I put the, the Morrigan ending the dark ritual trophy in there just as one of my favorites i loved i yeah. love that um that game it's a good game so much love the ending as well i just i just want to be clear how old we really are uh metal gear solid 3 K is is now 18 years old and i played it in high school we're old that's old yeah 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 that would be Shit. about about right yeah um uh, I, was... I, brought, I brought my vita into work right last week because hoping it would be quiet enough to like you know just kind of even get five minutes to try to finish yeah. the second playthrough on Persona Four, and someone was like, "Oh, uh, you brought your Switch in." I don't know. It's 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 a Vita. It's like, so like, is that a different type of Switch? I'm like, no, it's a different <laughs> console. Totally different company. So like, oh. and it's like, what is that? I'm like, it's a PlayStation Vita. It's the thing yeah, I so said. So it's not a switch, and I swear to God, I was going to ram that switch right down the colleague's throat <laughs> and go, this old man still has life in him yet. Do, <laughs> do you ever think about that? It's like, you know, gaming is, is getting more mainstream, but it's not as mainstream as, like, everyone knows every system about all this type of stuff. And then we are a subset of that where we are weird trophy hunters <laughs> inside yeah, of Yeah, where it's community. like... I believe it was Super Stardust HD in the year 2007. <laughs> or I first heard the name trophies. Yeah, yeah. Does it Why help we... that Microsoft isn't exactly keeping a reasonable expectation for a naming protocol? What do you mean? Mm. Yeah. Well, true. I mean, every mom knows what a PlayStation 5 is, but every mom just calls it a fucking Xbox. They or call a it a Nintendo, yeah. They're not going <laughs> to yeah. call it an Xbox Series X. Yeah, Jesus I saw Christ so many horror Spencer. stories about that. You know, the, what are they doing? So, what, at Christmas, or as as the gate as the the Series X came out, I saw like on every Amazon bestseller list was the was the One X. I was like, oh, there's gonna be oh. so many disappointed children. Who, whose idea was it to call it the Xbox One? Like, yeah. I want to know Joseph Farris, <laughs> Todd Howard. I'm blaming him for it. You work for Microsoft now. You retroactively made the stupid decisions for the names on it. But I wanted even... to talk about that a little bit because I know we had, we had, we had considered different topics and we kind of there's no trail. We're in the middle of the woods at this point. We have no idea where we are. I'm just hoping doing. my internet survives and I don't get like brought back into the ether again. That's all I'm um, hoping for. But so we were on. gonna. We were going to talk about maybe PlayStation Game Pass, but I talked to someone yesterday about... It still blows my mind. Like We're, we're like, oh yeah, VR 2 is coming out soon. I really hope there's a lot of cool games, a lot of support. I love a good VR FPS. Microsoft never made a handheld or VR support for like any of their... It's weird, right? Well, yeah. I guess almost with the Steam Deck, that work's being done for them. 
But they don't buy from the know, Microsoft score. Microsoft doesn't get the money for that. Steam does, right? They but don't get the to. money, but, uh, but they, you know, I guess with the PC, like, they definitely have one foot firmly in the PC market and the console space on, like, Sony or Nintendo. Yeah. So I feel like they're kind of willing. It's like, ah, we'll just get a bit of a commission off having the games on the store and Steam. We've, uh, like, right. they're, they're like a massive conglomerate. I would, I would be very intrigued to see what the Xbox portable or handheld would look like that would be an interesting alternative history if they stepped into that market yeah because i, I don't think sony's anyway. going back anytime soon yeah, it's, it's, yeah. For, i think there's a gap i think there's a gap there because for, like the uh steam deck is like jesus christ it's bigger than the ps5 yeah for sure <laughs> yeah um, i pretty... for the first time this week i saw someone stream their like uh xbox account to their phone and I like could not believe how like seamless it was. It was like he does that a lot. Yeah. It was pretty impressive, and I, I was like, I don't have anything like this. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> it was twofold. He was he was cloud gaming on his phone and then streaming it to Discord so we could watch. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I I don't use those kind of things that much. You know, I'm so set in my ways. He's still I on suppose. the floppy disk. You know, like. <laughs> So I, I I like having you know extra features and stuff and it is it's cool but you know I suppose I suppose the quintessential just gaming experience of me putting in a game or downloading a game now and just playing it is is all I kind of need. You know? I just want a dual sense that doesn't break on me. I just want a controller yeah. that holds up. Like <laughs> holds up. Yeah. You need one that ends it's in A. Just, you need one that ends <laughs> in A. That's what we found out. It's a, yeah. Um, but no, I, I think this like obviously a I weird think, conspiracy. <laughs> I think I think Microsoft is is going on like full on publisher mode now from here yeah. on out. Like I would I would I would be I wouldn't be surprised if they never made another Xbox even after this. You know. Um, and, and, really. Yeah. That's like hard. you know. We say that a lot, you know. I know every every console generation, at least the last three, it's always been like this is the last console generation, you know, yeah. and it, it inevitably never is. But I don't know. I just see like I feel like they they don't really they're not really in, into they're not really investing in the hardware side of things at all. They're not pushing Series X. Like I think it's it's there, it's available for you if you want it, but they're they're really just hammering home the the software side yeah of they're, they're so. all about the service now now they're like we're gonna live stream this to you and i mean maybe it won't be a console maybe it'll just be like a box that connects to an the entertainment internet. system yeah <laughs> i feel like though yeah. like pushing the publishing and the software is a means to get ahead for maybe the next generation that that's going to be the platform in which they base the next generation of hardware on i don't think they'll pull out but they'll, they're going to come more equipped for the next generation and do all that kind of grafting uh because the ps5 like is already i'd say gonna i think it's doing a bit better <laughs> than the well, xbox I mean, like, one x2 series x y said <laughs> even even looking at like the media coverage somehow playstation just absolutely stole the show like they were both hard to get, but nobody was talking about how hard it was to get an Xbox. They were talking about how hard it was to get a PS5. Yeah, absolutely. And there was a. I had. A, I finally had a run in with some some fucking teenagers. I was at a GameStop and they were having a sale, and I was looking what is at this some. Story? We're not old. We're not we're old. Smoking old. a cigarette outside Best Them Buy. Kids. The cheek. You you'll know what I mean exactly when I get to it. They came into the the, the GameStop and they were like. Really? Did you get that PS5? And he's like, "Yeah, but it's only the digital one. We can't get the games if we come in here. We can't buy anything physically." And he goes, "Oh man, but you just got that money from your mom. You see, teenagers. <laughs> that that whole con that happened out loud. They said this in public between the three of them. And I'm just standing in the corner like, <laughs> but uh, I'm looking at the sale rack for PS5 games, which I could buy because I have the disc version. And he was like, "I have a PS5, but it's the digital only, so we can't buy anything on sale. We only have to buy some of the PSN store." And every time I hear that, I'm like, I was like, there it is. There's the anecdote that I need about that happening. Because I was always like, if you buy the digital version, you have to pay what Sony's going to charge you for their digital crap. Here's the crazy yeah, thing. Yeah. I was insistent that I get the disc version of the PS5. I think I own That's one good. game on disc. I have like seven like, right? I'm, I'm like fully I'm digital. Same, yeah. Why did I do this? I, I, I have my five. I, I, I'm only physical. Okay. PS5. Yeah. 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 I, I was I was kind of like half and half. My physical PS4 collection is probably my weakest out of any generation of PlayStation. 
in fairness. Uh, but just some of those sales were just too tasty to pass up. And at some point, it does become an element of money as opposed to it looks nice on my shelf. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. That I'll never touch it again. But uh, oh. no, I, I, I want to just have my favorite, like just the best games physically, not like a monstrous collection. That That's the way I've always collected, you know, quality over quantity and all that jazz. Yeah, I so, have yeah, Marvel's yeah. Avengers in box, so I should probably throw that out. Damn. The, the, it came the with PS- the PS5. <laughs> what do you want from me? It came with the PS5. The, the games are so dear, though, physical. Like It's, it's kind of hard to, to get into the physical PS5 thing at the minute when you know stores seem to be kind of insistent that Returnal is still an 80-quid game. You know? Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's yeah. not 80 quid. I'm not spending 80 quid, you know? Like, come so, on, well, price yeah. drop already on us. Yeah, like yeah, Ratchet. Yeah, I haven't picked up Ratchet. Yeah. I also like, haven't bought Ratchet yet just because I'm waiting for like I'm waiting for like 35 or so. Yeah, that's fair. Like that's 35 is a sweet spot. <laughs> yeah. Like, so I, so I, just, I just picked up Guardians. <laughs> I just picked up Guardians of the Galaxy on PS5 for 30. Oh nice. Yeah, that's 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 a good price for that game. So speaking yeah. of digital versus physical, back to the Game Pass thing, what do you how many are you gonna I think I don't think I know anybody who's going full all the way the highest tier. I think most people are going second tier. Because do you use PS now that much? No, no I've never I never haven't. used it. Well, second actually, tier then. I, I have a, a, a subscription at the minute actually, but I, I I get it very periodically. I don't I don't buy it in bulk. I will buy a month of it if there's a good game that I want to play because you know you, I usually you do that free trial, Dan. You use that free trial very well. Oh, I got yeah, I got I got that seven seven day trial. I I got like four plats or something. <laughs> it's like it's it's like the ultimate like one last job. Get in, get out. You know, while you're still young, yeah, you know, get, get what you came for. Here you'll never see, have one last platinum. For me, like a s- subscription service like that doesn't really make sense because I get a game. I play the game until I'm finished, and then I start, don't play the game again. So I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't need the subscription service because I'm not like I'm not playing an hour of this and then an hour of that. Sure. You know, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah here's yeah, what it takes for me to get to my top tier with them. I need Legend of Dragoon on there for the PS1, and I need trophy <laughs> support for Legend of Dragoon on the PS1, <laughs> and then I'm in. <laughs> That's the segue. Will they yeah, add yeah. trophy support to old games? No. Oh, Specifically, see, I, I, no. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater for the PS2. Specifically. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I think uh, based on like the licensing that they have, you know, since trophies were implemented in order to be on the store they have to have trophy support and they're yeah. going to have to re- re- renew all these licenses or at least update them to fit in terms of this new service so i think based on that logic it might be a small selection but i wouldn't completely rule out trophy support i wouldn't rule it out oh, because I'm it's such it an out. easy it's such an easy thing to add and just go look you can be on this new service we're going to give you a 20 percent 30% cut of whatever the hell the, the big pile of money the big pile of money like take take a bit but you need to add trophy support and maybe you know readjust the the aspect ratio or whatever it needs to be you sure. know i wouldn't rule that out completely for me i thought the the idea makes perfect sense like me and dan spoke about this like a year and a half ago it makes complete sense to like join the two together instead of like two yeah. separate services you can make one big super service um, I'm not going to go full tier because I don't know what I'm signing up for yet. So I, I need game to see demos. listed you games. You get game demos. Of- <laughs> game demos. <laughs> Remember those Ooh, things we used to Something get I got for free yeah. <laughs> on PS3 for every single game. But or, now we can charge disease. you money for it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. And like game demos are almost like, uh, there is nothing quite like playing the game yourself. I get that. But with just like the wealth of options with like YouTube and everything, like uh, demos are almost like superfluous. Never mind charging for them. Sure. But, like I, I would yeah. just need to see what games are coming armed with? If there's some PS1 games with trophy support, I might Who's I the might game? hop what, on. What's the PS1 game? What's the best one? Metal, Gear, we... Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid go. one. If, <laughs> wow. if I could plat, We've come full I could circle. plat it. Yeah. I would plat that so hard. I would plat that so hard. <laughs> Gex um... Gex three? Gex two Gex Ooh. three? Ooh, Enter good. the gecko. That's a good shot. Uh, the original or Silent Hill one. Silent yeah. Hill one. Ooh, yeah. 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 Jetmoto. Yeah. That'd be good. Harvest yeah. Moon: Back to Nature. I Sled love that Storm. game. My favorite game 
uh, of all time, I would say is po- probably Breath of Fire Three that came out on PS One, but is also it on really? PSP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I have like what a niche favorite game. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm really <laughs> weird. Deep playing Outer uh, Wilds, you'll forget about Breath of Fire Three. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but you never I, forget your first love. That's true. But that one was on that one was on the PSP, so like you know it's there. But my thing about the, the trophy support for 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 classic games is that. I feel like there has to be like someone there who kind of knows the game who's going to be able to put trophies in because yeah. you're you're going to be buying the licenses from these publishers who haven't touched them in 20 years so no one's going to be able to even put trophies on there they won't so know Sony if you're watching do, I know you, know. you are <laughs> we'll we'll take the job <laughs> We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. Take it. yeah, Sony watches Missing Collectible. They are a huge, huge fan. Seriously fucking imagine a if we got emails. Fan. Mark Cerny. Like, yeah, yeah, we'll take you up. Mark we'll Cerny up. is in my DM. He called we, us we got a video. We got, we I got, got a DM from Mark Cerny. Did you really? No, not even joking. Not even I was actually yeah. talking to him. No, I, did, I didn't want to say, but we did a review on his account. And I made a joke about oh, he was playing it on Christmas Day or something. And he messaged me <laughs> explaining why he was playing. I, I, can pull up, I can send you the messages after. No, no. But he was but actually we did super reach nice. out to him. We reached out to him first. Yeah. Okay. Saying we reviewed yeah. your account on Twitter. And then he responded. You know, and But he was really nice about it. He like, just yeah, seems like a nice we, guy. Like, it had a bit yeah. of a back and forth. And I'm like, did he actually watch us and go, wait a minute, why... Because I forget what I said. It was something really we stupid said, about we him. Said, like, we, la- we, we laughed. We laughed that he didn't have knack on his list. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he and he had to explain himself. And he was like, "Oh, I did have knack on my list, he felt but the I need I, to justify it." Yeah, but yeah, but it was it, I had to hide it or something. So. <laughs> Because you know we we were kind of we were laughing at that, but you know I, we did the we did the trophy review on his account just because we know that he's into trophies, yeah, you know, and we we're like sure. you know it's 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 so cool that someone like him gives the trophies like a bit of a spotlight, and he's got some great plats like he you does. Know, he's got invisible he's got ink and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't so, he doesn't have knack though? Doesn't have doesn't knack. knack. What kind of trophy yeah. have knack. have knack? Don't get knack. <laughs> do not fucking do that to yourself. <laughs> I know. It's so funny, but yeah, no, um, yeah, no, yeah I, I think so. If maybe if we if we DM Sony th- this video, they might watch it. Someone might watch it, <laughs> possibly. But, okay, you, you so, just have to ask. You know? just, so like, so, Listen, so, it, yeah. sorry, go ahead. I'll hit yeah. up Mark again. I'll hit up Mark again. Okay, get, if we ever got a DM like that, Peter would frame it and put it on his wall. It's true. Right it's now. true. If if the, there was a YouTube comment we got once. And this is a great juxtaposition to talking about Sony. Please read us to contact us. Peter got a text once that said, get your dick sucked. <laughs> but unfortunately, they <laughs> deleted it. So we don't have the we don't have the receipts, but we have the bit. So it, whenever you yeah. want to yell at Peter, you yell at him to get his dick sucked. It was... <laughs> anyway, Sony, please reach out to us about classic game trophy support. It was about Unrailed. It was, it was a super fan of Unrailed when we ripped into it and was like... It was your choice. You decided to go for these trophies. You ruined the game for yourself. And I was like, was it, the de- it was the devs, was it? <laughs> no, we don't know that. It, it could. Yeah. <laughs> we did shit on the devs a little bit in their own Discord, though. That was the thing that happened. The investigation is still pending. <laughs> but, like, so so they have, don't they have PS1 classics on PS now? And those don't have trophies. I, mm, I don't, I, not no, for us, anyway, PS2. in Europe. Okay. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe oh, for... the uh, Europe thing. So, so, Sony made a complete dog's dinner out of the way they've handled d- digital games and backwards compatibility. You know, there's PS2 classics that you could buy on PS3 but aren't compatible on the PS4. Yeah. And then they resold to, like, the GTA games. And then PS1 classics, you can't play them on PS4 either. And then, like, you can't transfer the bubble over to the Vita, you know, like, when you download PS. It's just, it's a mess. It's, and not, almost, like, you... it's almost as bad as Nintendo. Like almost, almost. Yeah. <laughs> almost. But I feel like there are different tier though. Yeah. Of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that um, version I of want the ask... period of time is so is so sad. <laughs> I Sorry. want to ask you two guys one one trophy related question before the internet gods smite me again. What what is your favorite platinum trophy that you've unlocked? Where's my favorite platinum trophy that wow. I've unlocked? I can't believe you just turned this around on them on their own show. <laughs> <laughs> they've hijacked the show well, well do you have one ready to go while I think 
No. Okay, I'm going. They just have so many platinum. Is it petty to pick one that he doesn't have? <laughs> yes, but it's, I mandatory. It. It's, it's mandatory. It's mandatory. It's mandatory. Um, I would go. I'd go with Banner Saga three. I think. Fucking loser! Uh, I, I'm kidding. I think the <laughs> the Banner Saga trilogy is really great. It's like a Oregon Trail meets a strategy game type of thing. Um, and the Banner Saga three platinum. None of the trophies are descriptive at all on what you have to do, and it was just really fun to try to figure those out. Um, I'm, I'm, that's good. Am I right in saying that you need to do things in like Banner Lord one and two? To get trophies in Banner Lord three, uh, just Banner Saga two. Ba- Banner Saga okay. three yeah. is all okay. You could do it with just that game. Banner Saga two, I have not proven it yet, but I'm pretty confident you have to have a specific save from one to do something oh. in two. That's um, crazy. Yeah, no, they look like great games though. Yeah, yeah, I I really like them. It's a bunch of former uh, Bioware devs who left after Mass Effect three, um, who formed their own studio. So. For unknown reasons. <laughs> For unknown reasons. <laughs> totally unrelated to the ending of Mass Effect 3. Yeah. I think I, I have an answer. DLC. Yeah. I think I have an answer. It has nothing to do with the fact that I made a video on it or that I have it and Peter doesn't. <laughs> Never stop Peter, what it is? Always promote. Do you know what it is? Can you guess it from that information? Is it Super Hot VR? It is Super Hot VR. That's probably my favorite <laughs> platinum. I'm in your yes. head. Yeah, that's I'm a... in your head. Point! Six seven percent, baby. <laughs> zero point. Is it zero point six seven? Yeah. Wow. It's a VR I thought he said plat- sixteen. I thought he said sixteen to seventeen percent. No, no, no. Well done. It, it, it gets like it's ten percent rarer than it should be because it involves playing VR. Yeah, People it's a VR play. VR play for ten minutes. But that, even if you VR do, tax. Really that's VR yeah, tax. That's tax. VR tax. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, that's a that's oh, a tough okay. game non VR. So I can imagine that that was um, that, that was pretty taxing. It's certainly, my, a lot of this in your living room. My yeah. wife, <laughs> my wife played Super Hot VR and punched me in the face, and <laughs> was not was not sorry about it. She was was, was that the platinum uh, screen? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "You shouldn't have been there." I was like, "Okay, fair. You're right. <laughs> you got me." Yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. wish I played my VR more. Like I got VR like r- release day, and I was so excited, and I played it so much like the first month. But then I was like, I don't know. I felt so, I felt so e- excluded, and like people were like, excluded. you know, tapping me on my shoulder oh, when I was like, you know, and I was like, oh my god, you know, and I, I don't know. It, I and the leads thing just really bugged me every time having to set it up, and like at the time I was like kind of in between. I was like moving kind of between houses. And um, I, w- I was kind of like changing my setup a lot, and it was just so much effort setting up that thing. So I'm really excited about the, the VR two with like one lead. That's going to be a game changer. Yeah. Really. H- have you played Moss? No, but I, I have it. I, no. I think I it, do have it. I, yeah. I just played the sequel like like two weeks ago, and it was really good. Oh, cool! Yeah, I've heard the first one's amazing. It's like yeah. the the best game on the on the system. Yeah, for sure. I, I feel like this is like a platinum club, like a book club, where we're just <laughs> recommending games and just going, hey, man, you should try that. It's, it's excellent. See, we'll, we'll reconvene I, in two weeks. I've got weeks. loads of great inspiration from, from you guys, actually. Loads actually, of, like, platinum. you know what? I do have a bone to pick with you. Why did you recommend Songbird Symphony to me? Oh, he's pissed at you. You're in <laughs> some fucking oh, trouble man. now. I, I, I the, love that game. Was this payback? Yeah, Dad. Like, what was this? Oh. No, I, I've recommended that game to loads of people. Oh, uh, it was uh, so it hard. <laughs> H- hard as in, like, emotional? Rubbish? No, hard as in I'm stubborn, and even though there's no trophy to perfect score the songs, oh, I can't yeah. move on <laughs> without getting it. <laughs> oh, that sounds like yeah, a like, so problem. hard. <laughs> yeah, that game is, yeah, I, if that game had trophies for, like, for the songs... It would be like a ten out of ten for sure. It's so hard. They're so yeah, but, tough. But, but I don't know. I just I loved I lo- I love the story and I I love the music. Even though I was like failing miserably at all the songs. Um. So I'm sorry that I've you know it, it I've was a caused that turmoil. It was an interesting <laughs> start with it because I looked up a trailer and I was like, this game looks bad. Like why? But like Dan wouldn't recommend a bad game to me. Like come on, and Dan so, wouldn't lie to me. And so I started it and I was like. Yeah, this is pretty simple. And then by chapter two, I was into it. Like I was like, this is pretty okay. good. This is like this yeah. is this is good. So 
I don't know, the music really sold it for me. Um, and I, I liked the characters and I thought the game was cool. And, you know, I, I, I love, I, I'm, I'm huge into any of those kind of smaller indie games that are, you know, I, I suppose made with, you know, made with like a lot of passion and try something different. And I liked how they used the, um, I liked how they used the kind of, the rhythm and music as part of a kind of a gameplay mechanic. I thought that was kind of cool. So. For sure. The, but I'm sorry. The other one, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. The other one in the same message that we sent was a short hike you recommended. And I really loved that mm. one. That one was really good. Cool. So. Yeah. One, one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like you two could host a really successful <laughs> indie game convention. Between the two of you, I feel like you both have a certain... <laughs> pool towards the, uh, the indie market. I, I think the indie market is where things are happening. It's where people are trying weird stuff and seeing what works. Like, there's too much money in the AAA market that it's hard to take risks. I they need to be safe. Yeah. 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 No, there's I, no I, game I about that. starving someone and throwing poison snakes at them. <laughs> yes. That, that worked back in you know, 2003. It, it wouldn't work now, you know? I call it snake thrower. <laughs> <laughs> I... I but that, the the, the weird that. indie game that I played recently that wasn't slaps on that can fuck off uh, was <laughs> was was Paradise Killer and the weird thing is it's like this it's like it's like a walking around talk to people detective game and I'm sure again it's one of those like I was talking to Peter about this I think it's definitely a huge genre on like itchy or Steam and I've just never played one before I'm sure there's thousands of them where it's like you know it's got a really generic engine that you can plug in all of your own your own art and make a lot of games like that for pretty cheap and it's you know they're really popular but i've never played one before but anyway you can do the whole thing and you either come to the right conclusion or the wrong conclusion it doesn't matter but what does matter is if you convict someone you shoot them with a gun and kill them and you you've learned to like these people over the hours that you've talked to them and then afterward she's like well justice has been served unless you think it isn't you can just shoot them all now if you want and i was like what <laughs> so you can cool. yeah, you like can that. just go up to someone and be like I think I failed and uh, I didn't find you guilty because uh, the, the, the robot justice person was like this isn't good enough evidence but I know you're guilty so I'm just going to shoot you anyway and the game's like yeah that's cool go ahead and I was like what the <laughs> fuck is this the game? robot justice person that is an yeah, amazing no, we can't gloss over character. that <laughs> I can't yeah. Paradise robot killer. with a little wig Paradise Killer is a really weird game. The premise is that super weird, crazy gods from space are real and they came down to Earth and uh, the world tried to rebel against them, but this one group of people saved them. And they were like, thanks for saving us. You can have infinite power now and enslave the rest of mankind. And they were like, awesome. So you're a bad guy, by the way. You're a bad guy. You enslave <laughs> all of mankind. And when you get bored, you just kill them all whenever you want. And I was like, but it's like really bubbly and warm and like an 80s vaporwave style. But you're a Are we still talking about Lego Star Wars? No, we're talking about Lego Star Wars, yeah. <laughs> Peter, what's your favorite platinum? You never said. I did, I said Saga 3. Oh, you did. That's right. I, I glossed Solid over it choices. so quickly because it was a fucking grid game. I wasn't paying attention. How about, do, do you have yours ready to go? Do you already know? You're talking to Dan and Knight? Yeah. They I think the I know. I'd us. say Max. I'd, I'd say Max Payne three. I'd say that'd probably oh. be like my favorite. That's really hard, but... isn't it? Yeah, it's more just you need to beat the whole game without dying, or you need to start from chapter one again, and you need to do it in one sitting. Okay, so it's Wolfenstein. It's just as hard. It's Wolfenstein, but I don't think like it's on normal difficulty. That's what I always tell people. It's just that it's it's long. You know, it's like four hours to five hours, you know, especially with unskippable, unskippable cutscenes and stuff. And it's just one of them where, like, just the tension, the ten, like, the further you get in, it's like you're closer to the prize, but you also have more to lose. Yeah, you start and by the end of it, like, it was like I was in a sauna playing it towards the end, just the sweat <laughs> dripping off. You know, and I'm like, oh my god. I think so I got on like the fourth run. I think I'll always remember when I was doing The Last World in Super Meat Boy, hearing my heartbeat in my ears. In your ears? Like, <laughs> with how nervous I'm not I was. a doctor, but. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah so, that's, um, that's one game yeah. I don't think I'll ever, I'll ever attempt is Super Meat Boy. It's just like, I'm, I just would be too stressed. Yeah, it, yeah. It's more stressful than it needs to be, for sure. 
Peter actually kind of hates the fact that his rarest trophy cabinet is all Super Meat Boy trophies, and it's I actually do. really funny. It's not interesting when it's all the same game. Oh, yeah. man, mine is all, it's FIFA 10s, Platinum, and all the Fight Night online trophies. Yeah, I was going to say probably the Fight Night stuff, because you can't get it now. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not anymore. So it's a bit generic. All my, I have the worst milestones ever. Like, recently, my 8,000th trophy, complete chapter 5 in Bastion. <laughs> Great. Just, just, just Thanks, no, guys. nothing there. I like my first trophy. It's off the boat in GTA 4. I, I, I like that. I yeah. like that. But then I've got shit like my 2,000th trophy, complete chapter 6 in Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow. I... I used to plan all of those milestones to be platinums, and then I had an issue with my Vita where I hadn't played it in a while, and then I got one trophy in SteamWorld Dig 2, and it <laughs> didn't have a timestamp, and on PSN profiles, when it doesn't have a timestamp, it puts it at the start of your list, so it moved all of oh. my milestones one oh. off, <laughs> and I was like, well, now I don't care oh, about milestones. No. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, he, is, he kept it going for years he had that going. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. that is. I I, I never yes. really cared. I I like that my hundred fiftieth is Dark Dark Souls, and my elite trophy is the Platinum and Demon Souls. Nice, the PS3 um, version, which Dan got for me pretty much because I saw. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't have to say uh, this. Is fake news. <laughs> fake news. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I I never even played it for you. Uh, you, you literally have like what four stacks of demon souls now you can congrats on platting it like, i wasn't gonna day. call him out but i saw it and it was very sus i was like huh he's in this this platinum rarity competition and he beat demon souls wait that's the asian stack he beat demon souls again interesting <laughs> do you have to do the bladestone grind every time or can you drop yeah. what you need probably give it to yourself right no you, the the servers are down uh -huh. yeah. For, for all the PS3 versions, so you do have to do the grind. I did the, I got the platinum last week. Um, no, sorry, this week for Jim Souls. Um, and I got my blade stone on my fourth run down to the black. black That's skeleton. unheard of. Yeah, that is. Yeah, so well, fast. you know, I, 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 yeah, it, I was, it was, uh, I, and actually, it was different because this time I tried something different. I tried to put my luck up, and I got a, a large, the, the large sword of searching as well with it. Um, and I was held that in my other hand because there's been like kind of conflicting results if that actually impacts it at all. But yeah, anyway, it worked for fun. me this time. Nice. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm, I'm probably, look, I'm going to probably say for me, I'm probably going to say Demon Souls just because it is the, the one game now I have stacked so much. Yeah. Um, A horrible I, trophy list, though. It's a horrible list. Objectively. Like, <laughs> you're wrong. Demon, <laughs> Demon Souls is... It's it's more of it's the game, you know. I'm I'm talking about it's the game for me because like that was you know I I remember I remember I think I failed exams in college, and I was on my summer holidays and I had to like sit some repeat exams in the in, like the end oh, of summer no. or something, and I got Demon Souls and I just remember playing Demon Souls for like a month straight when I should have been studying, you know. Um, I and... remember those days. <laughs> And I don't know, I was just like, I'd, I'd heard about it. It was a guy in the in, a, in my local game store and he was like telling me, he was like, oh, you know, you can like r run around like and, you know, defeat all the bosses at level one. And I was like, wow, this sounds so cool. And I, and I got it. And I was just like, this is the most amazing kind of game I've, I've ever played. I was just like, I, I, you know, it was the birth of that whole Souls thing for me, you know, which is, is probably my favorite genre of games now. Um, it used to be like JRPGs. So, um, I, yeah, I miss, I miss Game Shop Senseis. They were th fantastic. This yeah. has just totally jumped into my head from what you were talking about with how you've discovered Demon's Souls. Is Will and I, when we were in college, we had this idea that was like, I'm going to pick a game for you, and you're going to pick a game for me, and we have to play it until we finish it. And that was my first experience with Dark Souls, and I bounced off of it very quickly um and i did not have a good time i didn't come back to souls at all until bloodborne and now i've done them all um but on the opposite side i made will play this game opuna which i was looking through the shelves at gamestop and i was like what is the dumbest looking game i can find and that's the one we're gonna pick and this was a miserable experience for him it's like the worst rpg we've ever played <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never heard of it. It at was all, such but, a yeah. bad oh. time. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Good choice. Good choice, that, choice, Peter. And that case. I Google bounced off of classic. Dark Souls. I didn't finish Dark Souls. And he was like, despite you, I'm going to finish this terrible game. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> it 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 it, it felt it felt like I don't know. I, I was watching a friend play Final Fantasy XI in college. It it looks and feels like some weird Final Fantasy, but people are spheres and they've. It <laughs> it should be it should be on PlayStation Plus no. next month. <laughs> if Sony, like, you're still watching. Put it on PlayStation Plus. Please Ma don't. Mark Cerny make this happen. It's like, do you remember <laughs> like Quest sixty four? It looks like that. It looks fucking. This game sells for eighty dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's always the shitty yeah. niche games that sell most. I remember googling, and people are like diehard fans of this game. I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you? Go outside. It's terrible. But yeah, we fell off immediately because I I thought I made you play Game of Thrones. No, I don't think so. The really hard Game of Thrones game where you had to like pick negative and positive attributes. I don't think so. I loved that game. I did, did like you? that game. I, I have all the achievements on Xbox. Yeah, I, I got... The, I keep telling people about this because, you know, people see it in my trophy list. They're like, oh, the Telltale game. I'm like, no. Nope. No, it's the, the really good cool one. one. Yeah. The yeah. one that's kind of like think... Dragon Age, but not as good, but also is yeah. good in its own way. <laughs> yeah, there was the story was, was really cool, story. I thought. You know, and George Martin like some... is in it, and he looks like... <laughs> He's a maester. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was a cool game. Um, it, it was, it was, it was. That was kind of in the the real like PS3, you know, hidden gem era. You yeah, know, of, of games. good, yeah. good generation for hidden gems for sure. PS3. Yeah, the PS2, Absolutely. I think, it holds the title for hidden gem yeah. stuff. Like the PS2 is insane PS2 with the number yeah. of games that came out for it that are just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Metal Gear Solid Three, for example. Metal Gear Solid Three. It's for just them. a quick. Yeah offhand mm. example <laughs> once yeah, again and the, good, the thing about the ps2 as well is that there's just there's so many games that like i still am finding today that i've never heard of i feel yeah. like i'm pretty like i'm pretty well versed in ps3 games that i like i don't really i don't really i i i'm at least i've seen them all at least once in my life at this point probably <laughs> Um, I, but the but Japanese like, yeah. RPG market alone on the PS2, that's a lifetime right there. Yeah. So there's so many cool niche games that were like were really good and, and people put a lot of effort and time into it. I think the golden age, uh, for me, the golden age of games is like two ta like the early 2000s. I think that like, at that maybe late 90s, early 2000s, just yeah. so much gold came I, out I mean, at like that point. Three... I would say 04, 08. I'd say like ninety seven to like two thousand and two or something. Okay, so like yeah. we we have a handle on three D video games, and now we're trying to experiment with stuff like that era of video yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, and it was still like accessible enough, where like especially on the PS one and PS two, that a small team with a very small budget can make a great game in five days. <laughs> yeah. I mean, now you it know, feels like, like some people get shot right out of the gate with like, oh, it doesn't look realistic enough. And it's like, the crap we used to play, <laughs> like the graphics on that stuff. Like, but the imagination filled it in. Yeah, you know? it, it was just like, like the right the level of good. graphics that you could make it yeah. look real to yourself as a kid. Peter, I and would the... like for you to Google the opening cutscene for The Mummy Returns PS2 game and tell me that looks good. It does. I've seen it. <laughs> but, but the CRT screen made things look way better <laughs> like <laughs> yeah it was back. tiny and, and blurry and that those though like the scan lines or whatever way like they they generate the image it really smoothed things out so like games mm. did look better back then than than they do now on like an yeah. lcd or it's the tvs screen. that are the issue yeah so return your 4k yeah. garbage and we're going back to crts if you can fit it in your car that is yeah <laughs> i'd love to get or like a really barrel. good Good or a wheelbarrow. Yeah. <laughs> well, Will, you have CRTs in your house still, don't you? I have a few, yeah. Yeah. I like I like to hold on to old technology like that, which my wife is never endlessly. Why do you have this bucket of cables? You're never gonna plug that in again. I fucking will. <laughs> um, <laughs> like like 
I don't know, it's there's there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with VCRs that like because of the way they made VCRs and then you can was, rewind like, them. No, 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 not that. Like, <laughs> like like you can record you can record stuff and burn stuff just with a base VCR. You don't need anything special that's like video in and video out. This sounds stupid, but like you can the way you can record footage with old game systems is much easier to do with a VCR, and you're like, what? Yeah, That is. is true, but when you said burn it, I thought you meant record, and then like burn it with fire. Yeah. So, like, say <laughs> Morbius, I would record it just so I can burn, burn a it. physical cop, but I'd see each frame go up in flames, just to know <laughs> it's dead. Yeah, just Jared Star Wars Holiday Holiday special. to stop things. I mean, it's a vampire movie, you can't kill it. It comes, it comes back. I definitely agree with the PS2, though. My my local game store, which is, you know, like a good, I don't know, two to three hour wheelbarrow walk away. <laughs> um, if, we're, if we're using the Google Street View distance measurement, it's probably a three It is hour an option away. on Google. You <laughs> know, train, car, wheelbarrow. <laughs> uh, they have a lot. They have a wall of floor-to-ceiling PS2 games, and you will never oh. find the same game twice, and they're just so fucking weird. And it's like four bucks, and I'm like, sold, done. I'll buy it. <laughs> that is, that's that sounds cool. amazing. Yeah, I mean, like we... for holidays, Will and I try to find, like, really weird, obscure games we've never heard of, and it usually goes pretty well. It's either completely awful, and you get to laugh about how bad it is, or you find some weird, wacky gem that you've never heard of before. <laughs> Dwarves! Dwarves is amazing. <laughs> Dwarves is good. What did I get for all you buy... last year? Power Rangers. We should have a secret Santa. Power Rangers, that's right. Peter immediately was like, oh, I'm going to play this. And he looked at the trophy guide, and one of the achievements was like, win 9,000 online matches. And he was like, fucking what? <laughs> that's a good idea. Secret <laughs> Platinum. We, we each yeah. at, at, mysteriously buy someone a random game, and they have to Platinum it. <laughs> See that gets mean there has quickly. To be parameters. Yeah, there. it gets yeah, mean way be. too easily. <laughs> Just N yeah. NBA 2012. I'm going in, guys. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, there's um, yeah, like I think the PS2 was like it was like the hack and slash era, and then the PS3 was like the third person shooter era, and then the what was the PS4? Like the PS4 S single was player the, the story driven game refinement. Yeah refinement that's what i would say <laughs> they, they, they 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 knew what worked and they were just kind of perfecting it you know kind of posts last of us era style storytelling with perfectly definitely, square furniture <laughs> definitely in indies as well was was a huge thing like, yeah the indie like. the indie generation yeah no that's true can i, can I take a, big platform. can i take a moment here to say that i'm very disappointed with the younger generation Kids these days. Yeah. Multiple people that I've heard recently who are younger than us are like, oh man, my favorite series is Assassin's Creed. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. we've Because we all grew up playing Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 and Brotherhood and 3. And then we were like, fuck it, it's dead to me. This yeah. is <laughs> I stopped after up... Brotherhood. I stopped yeah. after Brotherhood. They they it's started so with, like, with like... Black Flag. Odyssey and Origins and, and Valhalla. And they're like, this series is great. And we're like, it's so fucking tired, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> Put it out of its misery. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like the people who grew up playing like Final Fantasy like 10 and beyond. We're like... It's auto, play, like... autopilot open world design. Oh, Just... God, it's so boring. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's, so... it's by far my, my least favorite genre at the minute. It's the one game that I will actively avoid is, is a large open world. Like, I really had to be forced to play Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima, even yeah. though I loved the premise of it so much. I was yeah. like, oh... I've, you know, Go, Ghost I, of Tsushima oh, no. has a lot of that. What about uh, what about Horizon? Is that is that too much of that for you? Uh, I I'm, don't I'm, even want. I don't care about Forbidden West. I really don't. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't I, I'm the same. He, yeah. Like uh, Zero Dawn was like I'd say seven out of ten. I yeah. don't know why I keep randomly assigning numbers to games today, but it's the type of mood <laughs> I'm in. I'm just I'm trying to get my opinion across quickly in case the internet goes again. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's like it's like the world design and the open world design. Uh, it I felt it hindered the game more than it helped it. I, I thought like it just interrupted the flow of the story. Yeah, Zero Dawn is best in those like dedicated linear focus. Yeah, 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 exactly. For Forbidden West, 
looks like a graphical treat, but I'm all tired at this point. I've seen good graphics. You know, the last, the last truly give me something like new great two one. Yeah, La- last truly great open world game. I don't know. Maybe this is controversial. Um, aside from Elden Ring, because that's you know obviously days uh, gone. A, a bit of a given. No, it was was uh, was uh, was Red Dead Two. Like okay. I don't know. There was a lot was of people just, loved Red Dead Two. It's just like. Th- for me, the open world issue is just the the deadness of the world, and and that I don't care to go and pick up this stuff. But like every time I went anywhere in Red Dead Two, something happened, you know, and I was like, oh, this is cool, you know, something I wasn't expecting this, or you know, this there wasn't a map marker for this. That's that's for me. That's what I need in an open world game, and Elden Ring Red, has that yeah, too. I think for you know? sure. Well, I felt like I felt like Red Dead Two was the the end game of that particular style of open world. I feel like that's legitimately the limit you can go with that style of open world. Uh, like unless you can enter many more buildings and there's a lot more life about it and kind of like not scripted storytelling, whatever they can do to reinvent the open world space. It was like a perfect culmination of 10, 15 years of open world games. Yeah, it's what and Rockstar Elden has Ring, been building yeah. towards since GTA 3, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and then Elden Ring comes and takes a little bit of this, a little bit of Breath of the Wild, and kind of makes something new again, but within the context of Soulsborne. So it'll be interesting to see who borrows ideas from Elden Ring going forward and what if they can do anything oh, new because they Elden Ring felt because <laughs> they're, they're not gonna learn they're not gonna learn there's a lot of that there's like there's a lot of games that are taking I think the wrong aspects of Breath of the Wild and are like mm-hmm. not good games because of it like I... yeah yeah you see like what Elden Ring Ring did de- uh, degradation yeah. weapon degradation exactly you get <laughs> what, what, it that's why Red Dead Elden 2 Ring... is so bad because of the weapon degradation yeah, it, yeah. Well, for me the special thing about Elden Ring was that like the open world complemented the design that was already there because when yeah. you go to these different areas they have the same intricate layered detailed map design of these Souls games of Bloodborne but there's just so many more of them and there's this like interesting world connecting all of them so they didn't forego the size of the map for like less detail and less intricate dungeons they just put in the fucking work yeah and made it detailed it is mind-blowing to me how big elden ring is just like size just how yeah but how tall how deep yeah like that that's the thing whereas assassin's creed is like flat (laughs) (laughs) hey there's flowers yeah there are towers yeah be fair but it's there's lots but of towers. You can almost see the polygon, you know, it's just flat and you go up. There's just no depth to it. Yeah. Damn uh, your think old it... man rant. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, maybe GTA 6 will be um it'll be like GTA with Souls Born Combat. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I'd fucking play that. <laughs> yeah. I... They still have the guns. Oh, they have like remnant from the ashes guns and Soulsborne melee combat. That'd be cool. <laughs> I, I think one of the funny things we were talking about people taking the wrong thing away from something. So it was like so people when we talk about big open world games that are big and open and dumb and not how they should be designed. We usually Peter and I at least call them Ubisoft games just in general. Yeah. If it's Same. got a fucking tower, it's a Ubisoft game. And like. When Breath of the Wild came out and it had towers, I was like, nobody is getting the fucking... <laughs> Nobody's understanding this concept. Like, okay, so you want the player to have, like, a, th- a goal to get to to unlock the map for the area? How about the thing that unlocks the map isn't the big fucking thing? How about the stuff to see is the big fucking thing and the map is at the ground level? And then Elden Ring was like, hey, uh, that. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> like you get the map in the ground and you don't need to be up on a mountain to see all the stuff because you can fucking see it because it's tall right like all the big castles yeah, you, you see the you big don't castle go, they don't leave the map for a mountain on top of the mountain so people climb it and then they go oh, so this is where i am right <laughs> like why did you make these big fucking towers they don't make any <laughs> sense to exist because you get the map and it's exciting. It's like, okay, where can I go? And you can yeah. plot a little route and yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of just showing up and going, oh, thank God, this is here. Even the before, was happening. even before you have the side of grace on the Elden Ring map, it's like there is clearly something here. Like I could see on the map, there yeah. is something there. 
But also with the side of graces, they always show up precisely when you think, oh, it'd be really nice to have them. Yeah. And it's just there around the corner. <laughs> uh, I, I love that. I love <laughs> and, that. And obviously, I guess I wouldn't hold it against the earlier use of type games like a Far Cry, because they're not going to have giant crazy buildings to lead the player around because it's a very grounded realistic world everything is like a one story shed in the woods so you have to have the map with the fucking radio tower to tell you where everything is but that just means it sucks so you're not a fan of assassin's creed he's just, a big just, fan just, he's just, a big big fan i i bought just, them just i went to midnight releases for like three three or four straight years and that was my college thing every year i went out and i bought the assassin's creed game day one and we played we played the multiplayer a lot in college we hung out and played the multiplayer it was kind of fun yeah. when you get the hay kills because i did the brotherhood i don't know what that was that was more like aggressive spider-man with knives <laughs> Spider yeah. no. um the brother yeah but uh, that, that that kind of began that whole tacked on ear of you know just tacked on online. everything has a multiplayer mode but yeah. it was it was shocking to me because it had such a good feeling of like the way they could have taken the assassin's creed formula of how the missions used to be which was figure out your area plot a kill when the guy walks by you can stab him or whatever and now it's like yeah. scripted 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 here's the handout scripted scripted and it's fucking boring but like the multiplayer was like, oh look, it's Desmond again. Oh. Yeah, right. The multiplayer was like, this is your target. They look like this guy, but there's 15 of that guy, and also three people are looking for you. So good luck killing that guy and not getting found by the other guys. And I was like, the tension was so fucking real. It was awesome. It, it's I get tense. so pumped up about the old Assassin's Creed multiplayer. They never brought it back in a good way. It's tense, and then you get killed while you're sitting on a bench from someone sitting next to you. And you're and like, ah! And it's like it's not that it's not that big relief of tension. It's just like so so It's kind of deflation. It's deflation. It's like <sighs> when you realize that you got got, like you were like, I'm gonna get this guy, and they were like, I'm gonna. It's like that meme of the guy in the church, and there's like three people with guns in the back of each other's heads. <laughs> the, the most tense multiplayer I played was the Last of Us multiplayer. That was like manhunt yeah. multiplayer. That was fantastic. I was bad that was at that. that was the most. I, I I got pretty decent. I was a bit of a fox at it myself. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that multiplayer making tracks. I'm looking forward to, to it again. I'm looking forward to when they release the It was supposed to be its own thing, wasn't it? Do, yeah, do we know anything yeah. about it? Is it? Do they have it's, a date? It's coming. Or? Okay. Like, I, I imagine it's going to come with the PS5 version of The Last of Us 2, Probably. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. But Can we, uh, can we stop doing that? Cool. Can we ship a game with the, the modes, please? Instead of be... taking like eight more months and then Ooh. it's coming. You just got burned by what? Halo. <laughs> I'm really the, uh... fucking pissed about Halo. It's still <laughs> not done. What have you yeah. been doing? Making cookbooks? You have to uh, put up that uh, a master, Kira a master chef, meme, you know? If you will. <laughs> oh, oh, master oh. Chef. <laughs> I just imagine with the little hat <laughs> and a little apron. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to make a very culturally insensitive joke, but we just had the bastardization of Irish culture in America, St. Patrick's Day, which is very inaccurate. And uh, we were cooking, and my friend, who's never made cabbage before, goes, "So how do you cook it?" And I was like, "It's Irish. You just fucking boil it for like fifteen minutes." What are you talking about? And she was like, "You're not, you're not far off the truth." No, and she was like, really "Are you fancy. doing a bit?" And I was like, "I'm not doing a bit. You just put it in a pot with salt and pepper, and you boil it." And you boil the shit. Oh, hey. You. Pepper, like, jeez. And she goes, is <laughs> it going to taste good? And I said, does it matter? So I, I mean, bacon and cabbage is nice. Bacon and cabbage. I fucking love nice. cabbage, man. <laughs> I, I think Irish cuisine is, is probably the worst cuisine in the entire planet, I would say. I, um, I disagree. You have to have pride disagree. in your heritage. No, like, there's just, no, we I, don't have anything. It's like, well, if you look have, at, like, old have... Irish, it's like, it's like, oh, what's what's an old Irish meal? It's like, oh, boy, scraps thrown in yeah, the pot. Well, you know? We, we have bird, stew, yeah. a chowder, fisherman's pie. It's mainly seafood stuff, in fairness, that's the speciality. <laughs> and, of course, the potatoes, but let's not open that. No. Or worms. Fine. Yeah, we're, we're avoiding <laughs> that sort of thing. We have abracadabra. <laughs> what the fuck is abracadabra? Yeah. It's a chain this... of Irish kebab shops. Is it not a thing? It's called no. Abra Kebabra. I've it's never just, heard of it. It's not even that good. Please let the record show I've never had an Abra Kebab. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had one, I've only had like one or two. Um, Jeff, no, we're mad for the kebabs. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, no, it's yeah. uh, yeah. Irish cuisine is 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 like it's pretty non-existent, pretty much because I suppose we never really had much food. So 
Yeah. Ouch. So I. <laughs> well, that's a sorrowful, I, a sorrowful note to I, end I'm, this on. I'm reviewing my notes. We insulted our guests' heritage. We told them their opinions were wrong. We shit on their favorite games. I think we've done what we usually do. I said Nate's trophy time. list was good. I said Nate's trophy list was good. That's all I needed that's to say. That- Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, that. was it Dan? Like, Sorry, hold on. Who's it? You, no, neither it of you have your real name. It was you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was very good. No, his is it um I think Nate has like one of those pure completionist game accounts, but he still has like he still plays all the games he wants to play, yeah, you know? It's yeah, cool. he has the completions, but he also doesn't not play games if even if they're hard. So Dedicated. that's, that's, yeah. that's a real yeah. trophy hunter. I don't know how you well, haven't gotten burned yet with a game that has unobtainables. It's, sh- it's really hard to do that. Yeah, well, I guess, like, I kind of slowed down with the ridiculous online play. Like, I there's only, I think, the most recent game I think of, like, out of my list I would have liked to was uh, Mankind Divided. That was the only game I th- can think in the past couple of years. Like, normally I play, like, on an alt or whatever just to test them. But if I don't like the game, I'm not going to play it anymore. So it's always been mainly just the games I actually want to play more so than anything kind of too trophy related. Because like I, once I play the game and if I like it, I'm going to go for the platinum. So it's kind of pretty much, I think only like Dead Space Extraction and Killing Floor 2 would be the only games on my list that I go, ah, they weren't great, but I kind of just really push through them. And some elements of Ghost of Toshiba as well. <laughs> It's a lot. Uh, There's a lot of stuff in that game. Yeah, the new game plus was kind of like, uh, okay, but it was quick. It was only like I finished it in like four hours or something. Yeah, it's, it's super plus. quick. It's so yeah. short. If you just beeline the story missions, it goes fast. Yeah, my god. Um, I did in one chef. sitting. I was so surprised. I was like, oh, this is going to be a slog. But uh, yeah, yeah. It was super quick. But those four hours were still a slog. But um, no, I'd, I'd say we can say all four of us we have taste. We're a culture trophy mm, hunters. Yes, quite. With our wine you know, glasses. Or... Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I always think dance is the most impressive because it's like just every type of genre, every type of difficulty. It's it It's all. just yeah. <laughs> I just, and yeah, while I neglect my kids, <laughs> <laughs> say that on here. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I was it, yeah. You know. it, if you have such a wonderfully <laughs> eclectic list, I assume that means you're going to be playing the new One Piece game this year, which everybody's going to be playing, right, Peter? Yeah, everyone's going to be playing the new One Piece game, for sure. My oh, anime man. knowledge is really poor. I like <laughs> Samurai Jack, Pokemon, and Dragon Ball Z. And um, I've, I've kind I'm of... I'm a Digimon, just, man. I oh, just started no. getting to... I just started to get Attack on Titan, so I might I, play those I, games I, at some point. I, I know. I have watched an episode Don't play that. of One, Don't of play one Punch Man. <laughs> the, the, the grind for materials at the end of Attack on Titan is legendarily terrible. Okay. I mean, you could do it. You're you're a monster of a player, but I'm saying, like, people people are like, yeah, it's pretty fun. And then there's, like, you know, 20 hours of grinding at the end, which isn't great. But No. But I, I really want to kind of get more into into some good anime because I, I've kind of it's like I suppose it's like a big blind spot, I've, you know. Because usually gaming and anime kind of go hand in hand in a lot yeah, of ways, you for know. Sure, but yeah. I very I very much like I, I watch I, I yeah I, I watch Digimon. I watched all the big ones that would have been like on TV, but I've I don't have like a Crunchyroll subscription. And I don't know all these like obscure ones that that people say. And I I told someone I told someone I was watching Attack on Titan, and they were like, "Oh yeah, that's a normie one." I was like, oh. "That's a normie <laughs> mainstream." Yeah. I was like, "I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. trying, man. You know, I'm we, trying." We talk about gamers being elitist with their tastes. Anime viewers are like, <laughs> "Oh, there's something else. There's something else." <laughs> that's way yeah, too mainstream. Man. You can't watch that one. <laughs> yeah, so so I've I've a lot to learn in that front, but. Well, we're all growing and developing, Dan. We'll we'll learn together. Actually, I don't really care. To learn, really. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> I, I am... imme- immediately contradicted myself. With with me playing Final Fantasy XIV, in Peter's eyes, I have finally officially played a for realsies MMO, and I'd never done don't that before. Don't you speak for me. I didn't say anything like that. <laughs> you have told me for fucking years that Destiny did not count as being an MMO, and Nate and Dan both agree that it is, and you're a big fat liar. <laughs> Call oh, that my own show. I see how it is. <laughs> Three thousand hours of Destiny doesn't lie. Between the two of us, we probably have six thousand hours together. Yeah. 
Um, Destiny podcast episode coming up let's next. Let's go. <laughs> but I think we'll I think we'll start wrapping it up there. Uh, obviously, it's only 11 p.m. for them, so <laughs> why not? Obviously, you can find these guys uh, at Platchums on YouTube. Um, is there other stuff we can plug? Twitter, well, that's that's Instagram uh, only. Um, I would say um, <laughs> only chums. No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We haven't, we haven't, we haven't gotten past the the research and development stage. But yes. <laughs> Still if, working well, to on. Be it. Honest, if <laughs> every participant has died of just sheer arousal. No. Um. What else is there to plug? Maybe Irish cuisine, Metal Gear Solid Three. <laughs> um, um. Songbird MMOs, Symphony. I don't know. Songbird Symphony. Bat for shop. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like we, we, yeah, just check us out as the polls. We upload rarely. That's not true. We're really bad. <laughs> you upload right We're really bad. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, check yeah. them out. Thank you guys so much for joining us and letting us Thanks make fun us. of your taste. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for having us. Of um, course. No, I, I feel I feel very uh very content that we accepted content. the invitation. <laughs> I, yeah, I, it was I fine. enjoyed. I I enjoyed <laughs> the mild verbal abuse. Well, I, I enjoyed it I too. Am... We'll find out how well this actually went is if they text us back in a week and they're like, those fucking guys are spreading <laughs> on. They're going to go, they're gonna go on another so, yeah. podcast and shit on us is what it is. Yeah, yeah, like missing collectibles. Oh, oh my God, those guys. What a bunch of losers. Yeah, my internet died so I, just to get out of yeah, there. You know? I just needed a break, man. <laughs> <sighs> I went out the back with my wheelbarrow to contemplate life. <laughs> Have you go pick up some some bottles of Jameson? No one's gonna get the wheelbarrow bit. It was before we were recording. It was before we were recording. It's for us. It's for us. Now I'm gonna go sit my wheelbarrow and call it a night. Okay. All right, gentlemen. This was a wonderful. I don't have a functional bed in the void. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys.